We're not at the park anymore. Fuck it. I really have to pee, chat. Rest on your all later? Yeah, maybe we'll do some base building later tonight on the all and just chill. Um... Everything I have. I like Wu's new look, man. He looks good. And not at a breeze. Where am I?
I'm a curse. Doom, doom, doom. Dude, is that scratch ticket clip actually real? That's actually insane. They probably get taxed like crazy on that shit though, right? So rich after taxes though? Oh, of course, but. I'm a curse. You don't think I add more songs to the fucking, uh, to, uh, the thing though. Where's that other song that I like? Fuck it, I like this song too, actually. Yes, but why are you getting political? What? Because I asked if they got taxed on a fucking scratch ticket, you dumb fuck. Man, man, there's always somebody on the internet who gets mad over the weirdest shit, huh? Well, what is this? Oh, that's my storage. Oh, I know where my house now is. Nice. Dude, I love Wu's new look. It's actually so clean, dude. Where am I going, dude? I'm lost. I'm running. ADD. ADD kicking in. We run for a little bit. Fuck, you saw me running. That's awkward. All right, we stop running now. Yeah, Harry's dead, dude. He died. Look who it is. 
<clears throat> Look who it is. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh. Whoop. Yes. You weren't responding to me. I said hello. Oh, I think there was dust in your throat. You have so much shit to get caught up on. Can't wait. <laughs> hey, how you doing, Wu? I'm doing okay. Good. I don't remember. I, have I met this character before? Hey, hey, hey. Wu's here. Ooh, yeah. I see. There's I the see. A. Oh, <laughs> you just walked through the rest of Mr. Right Woo! <laughs> Shit, am I scuffed? He yeah, has so much to get caught up on, I almost feel bad. We got, we got a lot to talk about, huh? How, uh, how were your adventures? They were good. I am back now. Yeah, that's good. That's good. There's, uh, lots of things we got to talk about first, though. Number one. All right. We got something for you. Come over oh, here. Yeah, that's right. Ooh. We got you the wool box. Mm. Is, she, is that it? That's right. Is that the box? Or are you... That's the box. The wool over here. Oh? Over here. She that right over there? Yes. That box. It's a box full of glorious deliciousness things that you are gonna have a fun time with my friend lots of meat lots of expired eggs whatever you you know what you know you know what i mean you know that that kind of stuff that, uh, <laughs> we don't necessarily uh are too fond of we see we made a deal with taipan we send them uh, some of our fucking food they send us some some of their food why don't you go over there and look at that eh? oh that's cute man Jeez. Iron turtle that? soup cooked herptile meat? So, what do you think, eh? This looks very good. Thank you. you got, no problem. You got that iron, iron, iron turtle, uh, iron turtle neck soup, um, uh, fucking, <laughs> what is it? Tofu, sp spicy ramen tofu um some um salami probably in there somewhere uh, <laughs> he, yeah, he just looked in the box why are you telling him what the, what is <laughs> because you know it's just meat right they got they got no labels and the taipan told me what they were about so i got to tell him what he's eating over there right you know what i mean it's like so some he's... eggs and some other shit i don't know some eggs eh? there's a thousand year old eggs over there right they fucked me up i was shitting blood for three days look at him just look at him. Look at the smile on this guy's face. <laughs> That's the most emotion I've ever heard or seen from him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Take it He's easy. jumping take on this shit, man. Take it easy, all right? Savor it. The fuck's he eating? What would you give him? <laughs> Thousand-year-old egg things. What the fuck? It is very good. Thank you. Yeah. I can hear the smile in his voice. I can hear it. <laughs> so. Nice wool box. What have I missed? <laughs> Who wants to start? We're at war. Well, we could start with the ranch spaghetti. No, no, no. Oh, don't fucking start. Oh, no, my God. No, I'll start swinging. <laughs> I'll start swinging. That oh, right there yeah. is the biggest war we got internally going on right now. But There's nothing we're fucking but... wrong with it. Okay. okay. Yeah, we're also I'm going to shut my mouth Jack. now. We're also Anyways. at war with Jack Kettleman and uh, Tommy Two Snakes. What? How? I mm -hmm. thought we weren't at war anymore with Tommy Two What? We're we still are. No talks have been had. Ceasefire, but oh, okay. yeah. Uh, we're, Okay, let's start with the uh, Kettleman thing. You remember them blowing up an ice cream shop? First of all, we're way too close to the entrance. We should be talking about this in the office. Yeah, I can hear yeah. it from the porch. Dominic, that's Wu's food. 
black apple goo in the office. We're gonna go All back right. to jail for 10 days, man. Fucking food. Uh, Jack Kettleman got real pissed off that we were, uh, seeking to collect that 1800 from Kaneklo <laughs> since we didn't have a receipt about, uh, him getting his ass handed to him at that time. Uh, you know, in recompense for the ice cream shop thing and all that. So, we have this big showdown and out near Blackwater, six on six, no shootout or anything. We all just stand across from each other, yelling at each other. Uh, basically, they're telling us Canuclo's not going to pay. That debt's already been paid. We said we don't have a receipt. They said we don't deal in receipts. So we had to confirm it ourselves. Um, Canuclo was, in fact, stabbed by Jack Kettleman several times, almost killed, and put into a coma, which is all all he needed to like. All he needed to say. All he needed to say, but all he said was, I took care of it, which isn't good enough. So all of that could have been avoided. But then, recently, he stumbles drunkenly into town with one other friend, smacks Mikey over the head with a pistol, and shoots him through the cheek. For no reason, really. Just wanted to. And we fucked him up, and got him out in the swamps, and told him how bad he fucked up, and then he got sent to Siska, and he got out today. So be on the lookout for that. Um, but the Tommy Two Snakes War... Oh boy, the Tommy Two Snakes War. Uh, we had an incident with a man by the name of Frank who smashed open some poor kid's head in Saint Denis. I brought him aside and I told him, hey, if you're going to be doing that shit, you know, you, you got to let us know. You got to tell us you're going to be doing that shit and for what reason, because spilling blood in Saint Denis, it's not good for anybody. Uh, he was very disrespectful during the entire meeting I had with him, basically one word responses, but not like your one word responses, like dickish one word responses. Uh, and so I hit him over the face with the hammer one time when he made a comment about that kid's glass jaw, since he had a wired jaw, sh like his, his jaw was wired shut because he got shot in the face before. Uh, <laughs> a few hours later, they pick up Leo and Danny, the Fantonis, and make Danny watch as Frank takes a hammer to Leo's face over and over and over and over and over, looking for me. Jesus! Um, still pissed off about that, by the way. We run to Valentine to get them ta to get the, uh, Leo taken care of since there's no doctors in Saint Denis. I send telegrams out. I come out. Tommy Two Snakes is right there on the telegram porch. Uh, I saw Red. I took down Tommy Two Snakes. I took down Frank, and I took down somebody else. And then some other bastard shot me in the chest. I think his name was Scout that ended up shooting me in the chest. Uh, so war is pretty much erupted from there. Uh, they hit us back at the Blue Pearl a few nights back and took Leo hostage again for some reason. And our, uh, what, what, what was it that they were saying, Cesar, they're claiming that we really need to make it up to them somehow? Yeah, some along those lines, that's right, yeah. Yeah. There may or may not be a uh, talk happening between both gangs, but uh, until further notice, they are to stay out of the city unless they want, you know, to get shot down where they stand. Hmm. I don't know how true that part is. But um, they know that coming into the city will um, resume many hostilities. So until we have that sit down with them, there's a ceasefire indeed. So. Yeah. However, on the other end, <clears throat> there's been uh, progress with the uh, conflict out west. We have uh, crews going out there to deal with this issue. Damn, we wasted on all this? So. What happened with Kettleman? That part I do not understand. Truth be told, I don't think anybody fully understands it. Nobody understands the things that are going through Kettleman's mind. He's been well, looking for now, an excuse. His people, or some of his people, want to back out and not be part of it. But I don't know how much we trust them. We've had like five different sources confirm that several key members of Kettleman's gang, including people who were there during that day in the standoff in the, near Blackwater, like, five different sources have confirmed they have split off from Jack Hittleman, and he has almost no friends left. 
but we'll see how much of that is true. You never know, if we end up killing Jack Kettleman, we might have all of a sudden four different separate gangs, you know what I mean, banging on our doorstep because we killed Jack. Mm -hmm. I really would like to bash his fucking skull in. Ooh. So, Kettleman. This all started because he turned his back on us, Mr. Wu. He, um, we had a mutual understanding, mutual respect. He had his side of the ball, you know, the, the ball court. We had our side of the ball court. And when one of his guys owed us money because they didn't want to get Jack involved, they said, I, I'll pay you this money. I don't want Jack involved. I'll, I'll pay it, though. I'm going to pay it to you. We said, okay, you know what? He's gonna get it. We're gonna get money from this guy for whatever happened here in Santa Anita, the explosion and whatnot. So then Jack stepped in and he he made this his issue. And like Ollie said, he apparently hurt this guy that owed us money, but he never showed us the receipt. He never showed us results. So it <clears> led <throat> to the to the relationship that we had built over a couple of years now to fall out, right? That mutual respect is no more. He's nobody to us. Billy from the from the block down the street in Saint Denis is just as equal to him. He means nothing to us anymore. No respect. That wasn't the start of the war, though. What started was him coming here and blowing one of our guys' faces off almost. Escalated unnecessarily, but it happened. So we're dealing with it as much as possible. So what is our plan then? Hit him where it hurts the most. He hurt our family. We hurt his. Until he wants no more. That or we just try to keep him out of the fucking east as much as possible. We see him around, he's gonna pay the consequences. It's just the way we're gonna have to live. I don't see an end to this conflict, to be honest with you. It's gonna be an indefinite one. No matter how much we hurt him. Yeah. Well, it'll end at some point. Either he dies or we do. I don't see the latter happening, though. Now that he's back out, he's gonna rally his people. Yeah, all two of them. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of finding who his people are, he says. His people are the people fresh off the fucking train in Saint Denis and Valentine and all that. <laughs> The issue here that we're having, though, is that we have several conflicts on our front lines. We have to pick our battles because the moment these people unite, it's going to be a hard time for us. Which is why we're having to sit down with the crews that uh, are also involved. Like two snakes and his people. However, if they decide to continue this conflict, then, um then we have no other option. We have the manpower for it. And we will continue putting pressure on them. <clears throat> oh, I'm here if you need me. Well, now that you bring it up, we're having a meeting today with um with them that sit down I was talking about and I need uh I need our people to be there looking sharp and being aware when is this happening not sure but um we need to uh, have Sunday checkers telegrams to uh to see if they confirmed could be the next couple of hours Understood. 
So whoever stays back is going to have to uh, remain in the city, of course, and uh, make sure that uh, everything's going okay. Now, we also met with uh, Mr. Klaus yesterday. And he brought up a couple of good points when it comes to the way we're handling things here in the city. He brought up that uh, several gangs and organizations are concerned about how uh, strict we may be with some of the things we're uh, cracking down on. And I think um, I think it, he may have had a, uh, a good point. Doesn't mean we're backing down entirely from what we're doing. Crime in a city like this is going to happen regardless. It's going to be too much for us to handle. It's not feasible. So, for the time being, don't crack down on anybody that's doing petty crimes around here. Unless they're blowing up fucking ice cream shops and or they're serial killers. Or, I don't fucking know, killing a goddamn uh, population of brown town or whatever. I don't give a damn, all right? Yeah. Yeah. You keep raising that bro. All right. I understand you're fucking surprised. All right, sissy. You got any questions? No. Respectfully, I do. I hate you. I just want to. I just want to point that out. <laughs> What's going on, Olivia? I understand petty crimes is one thing. But we also have to think about the angle that we were also looking in the better interests of Taipei and possibly Sam's Club because we weren't too sure, admittedly, who he was connected to. Either of those two we have interest in, don't we? Both of them, yeah. Well, more so Sam's Club than uh, than Taipan. So these interests that you're talking about, how is this going to affect anything that we're doing right now? You talking about changing the way we're doing things in the city? Right. It's, I understand how it's perceived as, you know, we don't want him going around just bashing random people in the face, but he did have connections to us loosely, very loosely, mind you, but. So what do you suggest? Petty crimes I agree with, you know, if it's a nobody, then it's a nobody, but at the same time, we do need to protect the businesses that are developed here. It's uh, kind of hard to weed through what's what, though, admittedly, so I'm not too sure if you're talking uh, logistically. Right. I think as long as um, what people are doing ain't driving the business out of Saint Denis, then we we should be okay. At the end of the day, we're not the fucking law. Right. It was a matter of respect for the territory itself. People can see it however they want to see it. Matter of respect to Oliver too, for the way he was acting. Maybe this whole idea of territory and respect it's maybe too new around here for these outlaw gangs and people that have no organization no code maybe it's too much for their fucking brains yeah but wasn't the idea of this thing of ours too much for their fucking brains when we first started now look at it they don't have a choice fuck them People got to do what they got to do in the city. They're going to be knocking brains. They're going to be shooting. That's fine. I mean, that's Saint-Denis. It's the Wild West out here at the end of the day. Just a little bit more civilized, these parts. If anybody starts blowing shit up and I don't fucking know, burning buildings down and doing something massive, I think that's when we should kick in. Again, it's just uh, us throwing ideas on the table. We got to make this official. Sounds like a talk you and Sonny need to have. We'll back whatever play you make. Any opinions from anyone here regarding this? I, I do agree. I think we've gone a little bit too hard sometimes. 
Uh, I think when we it, when we step in, it should be because uh, something big kind of happened. But I also have the uh, regret of accidentally causing a war on my hand, so take that with a grain of salt. Anybody else? I love how Wu never knows what the fuck's going on. I'm off a little bullheaded after what you have to say, but personally, I don't really need to. Huh? What? Sorry. I what? Don't think I understand that reference, but anyways. You don't remember that Kettleman's story about bullheaded? No, you never show yeah, but I love it, dude. I love it. <laughs> All right, whatever. Just continue. Anyway. Thank you for derailing that. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. I personally don't feel that we should, well, significantly change our standards or values to accommodate them. I That's kind of agree fine. with that. Might be my ego talking. Pretty. I'm still licking my wounds. Yeah. I think all the pains are, uh, indeed valid. Opinions of how we do things around the city. Yeah. Personally, um, I think we can line up just a little bit when it comes to, uh, you know, most of the people that view us. You know, go around the poker to make an appearance every once in a while, do something so people get a feel that we're not just, you know, this family that just seemed like so uh, territorial and rude or whatever kind of fucking thought they have about us. I agree not to get involved in things, you know, that uh, that uh, law can handle, but uh, other things. I think we can line up just a little bit. I don't think I've ever met this character before, uh, chat. People view us a little. Hmm. I just want to also say, everybody's opinions here, they matter. They value to something. So, before I say mine, just know that I hear you all as well. Personally, I don't like the idea of letting anybody slip through the cracks of our hands. I don't like the idea of conceding any kind of defeat, any kind of wavering power that we hold over this city. Because we do. That's why there isn't crime running rampant crazily. Most importantly, I don't want uh, people just to fear us. Respect comes first. I feel like people are starting to lose that. Not saying we got to accommodate to anybody, nobody, but just to ourselves. But fine tuning can never hurt. <clears throat> Out with the old, in with the new. Things don't go as well as we kicked up and planned to be. But there's always more change from there. We come first, people come second. Damn. The idea was never to change that. But the fact that somebody goes up to another person and sneezes on him aggressively and whatnot, and we're cracking down on that. I think the word that was used was suffocating. We got to pick our battles. We got to pick exactly where the line is when it comes to these things. I wasn't talking about stepping down or kneeling or anything like that. Part of the, how would you say, um, progress of the city is for organized crime to flourish as well. And crime in general. What's going to happen the day they open that bank? 
fully or to finish, you know, maintenance on it. People are going to be fucking robbing the banks in this city like no other. Something we got to think about, too. We do. And I know we all know that's going to be a problem in the future. Maybe, maybe the solution isn't, because we just want to got... know about it. Fuck you. We just want to know about it, right? That's, that's where all this comes from? It's not that people have to come and ask us for permission to do something, no. Yeah, I keep forgetting there's an update a coming to Red Dead too. Hey, got a lot of content shit, around us, chat. Feels that. good. Here's your piece. Appreciate you. Have a good day. Goodbye. That's it. Exactly. So right. maybe they don't have to come into of... the city and be like, "Hey, can we rob the fucking bank?" No, it's not gonna be like that. It's never gonna be like that. Nobody's gonna do that. That's that's not the point I'm trying to make. My the point I'm trying to make is maybe the solution isn't to crack down. It's to if there's gonna be a monetary value involved, it's to assist. I mean, things like bada boom, if they ever finish maintenance on that bank. That kind of idea. That gets us the information, that gets us in good standing, the respect you were talking about, and it makes sure people don't feel suffocated in the city, it makes sure people want to come to the city, because they know they can make money there, and so can we. The silence is making me think that wasn't the smartest thing I've ever fucking said, and fuck all of you, because it was. <laughs> Ollie's so hot at it. I agree. <sighs> so when does this meeting happen with, uh, Tommy? Well, I gotta wait for uh, Sonny to uh, check his telegram, so, um, I'm not sure. Hopefully it happens tonight. In the meantime, though, um, let's head down to the telegram station, and uh, I have yet to hear from Scapo, so let's go. Let's get down there. Will, uh, if you don't have it already, get your rifle, get a gun belt on. Just you can keep grab it on some the water house. real quick from the kitchen. All right. Yep. And, Do I have my uh, rifle in here? Is when you're running around with everybody, try not to go anywhere alone. That's when they like picking <laughs> us off. If you got to go check your telegrams, go get some food or something, take a buddy with you. You don't have to talk to them or anything. I know you, but just make sure you're not getting ambushed by yourself. Understood. All right. Did they, did they get ambushed at all the city chat? Did people actually come to the city to hit these motherfuckers or what, bro? Where is, uh, maybe I'll talk to Ollie about it. Sarah's still dead? Yeah. <clears throat> Oliver. Whoa. I have all my kick-up money. I'm not sure who to give it to. Oh. Um... Hold on, let me ask. This is a good point to ask, real quick. Hey, Cesare. Hey. Um. So. Are we doing kick ups while we're at war? Yeah, everybody that's. Like on the offense, they, they ain't doing the kick ups. 
Okay, because Wu has his kick up, but I, I don't know if I should take it from him right now, since he might need it for fines and shit. Last week's kick up, right? Last, last week. Just give it to Cesare then. If it's last week's. We'll keep 250 on us, chat. Two! You alright? <laughs> nope. Whoa. Cesare? Has, have you been eating your oranges? We told you to eat your fucking oranges. Is he having a moment? He's always having a fucking moment. What is... <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? Sorry. I don't Sorry think. Now. Don't think he's hit that age. Sorry. Shit. Get the fuck on your horse! Holy shit! Boss, are you okay? Holy shit! <laughs> what should you give him, Wu? <clears throat> I gave him 750. Okay. That's good. Wow. I mean, it's not the most he's ever gotten. I don't know why he's freaking out like this. <laughs> Oh, God. Holy shit. My <laughs> horse is dead. I... We can Yo, get you a new your horse. Your fat fucking horse is dead? Did he have a heart attack? I'm not sure. What'd you feed him? Well, I haven't seen him since I've been in Sisica. God, he's starved to death. Is that a freaking out over $750? Yeah, he really should be. He's gotten way more. <laughs> I think he's freaking out because it was from Wu. But let me ask you this question, Wu. How much money do you have left now? Not much. Yeah, that's what I thought. Jesus. We can stop by the stables, get you a new horse right. if you need. I'll cover for you. You don't gotta worry about it. Uh, do not worry. I will wait for Al to be awake. And play him in cards. <laughs> yeah, but you're without a horse. So consider it a down payment then. And me back. With Al's money, of course. Understood. <laughs> Ah, boy. Hi. How you doing? How's it going? How you doing? It doing good. Doing good. It's good to hear. It's good to hear. The rain is so loud. It's quite dangerous. The rain. Yeah, when is it not? Yeah, I think that's so. What's wrong with your neck? Shut up, man. Yo, boys, have a good one. Hey, make yes, sure sir. you have a better one. <laughs> I'll try my best. I'll try my best. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. I don't know. I'm about to find out. I'm going to go meet him right now.
Woo's without a horse. You mind if we go to the stables, go get him a new one? Yeah, let's go. Hey, Mr. Wu, I appreciate that, uh, that bump. Oh, so you did do it. <laughs> Sissy, ain't nobody ever said that you couldn't do it. You just gotta do it on your off time. All right? Well, business hours is a different told time. No. Told me no in the bank. Who told you no? Cesare? Sorry. Well, you know what? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You know what that sounds like? You know what that sounds like, sissy? Hmm. Sounds like a you problem there, sweetheart. How about you suck my ass? Oh, what the whoa. fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Take it easy. Whoa, whoa. Oh, then. Oh, that's business some first. That's, that's some girl's son right there. Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what about Woo? I hear he's trying a new diet. <laughs> Stables to your left, Dom. Yeah, I gotta go get money first, Cesare. Hold on. We gave this guy a new horse. New horsey. <laughs> I can't wait right, no to see the other character. Right. Just one sec. Come on, let's go to the stables. All the always on my ass, bro. I guess we forgot to tell him about our stable guy. Woo, for future reference, we have a guy at the stable up here that'll feed our horses while we're away. <clears throat> that doesn't that doesn't help your current horse, but <laughs> or your your former horse, but it might help your current. Yeah, by the way, I'm covering about uh, $300 for his uh, did horse. Right. Did you drop that? Cesare? <laughs> I come on, don't do that now. Don't Very do that now. With, yeah, because, uh, Daddy was I mean, we had an RP, right? Like, we left stick. the horse out in the middle of fucking nowhere. We went to jail for fucking five years or whatever. Nothing bad will ever happen from glittering. I don't give a sh Like, why do you care? The world is so massive, you can litter everywhere and nothing bad would ever happen. I throw all my shit in the ocean. Alright, let's go find you a fancy horse. Alright, when I hand you this money, when I hand you this money, Wu, alright? I don't want you to choose just any, any old-fashioned horse. Any old horse that you'll sit your comfy little ass on, alright? I want you to choose a horse that when you sit on it, right, it's like the holy fucking grail, alright? Your ass chicks better be the most comfortable thing sitting on this pile of height, alright? I better look at this horse and I better think. I'm calling it. Wow! This is Wu's horse. Okay. Oh shit. You can call it, I'll call it. Understood. Alright, here you go. Three hundred dollars, my horse costs more, you cheap fuck. Go absolutely nuts, my dear boy. One, huh? Yeah, hey boss, I'm giving you permission to to name Wu's horse. Yeah, uh, I don't know about that. I got, well, he he can name it, right? I mean, I gave him the money. Technically, I'm buying it for him. Gabagool.
Nah, nah, you you name it whatever you need to name it. I ain't, I ain't gonna choose for you. Yeah, yeah. Name it whatever. It's, it's your horse now. Would have been a great name, though. Just saying. Yeah, yeah. Just saying. This is kind of sick, no? Dominic. Mm -hmm. Low health, low stamina, though. I think we want like a mix of both. Oh, 950. Good, this one's really good. Ooh, this one's really good too. Is the tuner shop opening soon for a better horse or what? Wait, how do I change the tail and shit? On a speed run. Ooh, fuck. This is kind of sexy, no? That looks kind of weird. It's supposed to be like a weird horse. That is a sexy horse, man. Hey, appreciate that. <laughs> so is this? When was you gonna... When you gonna introduce me? It's a horse. <laughs> well, yeah, but they got a name. I do not name my horses. What? <laughs> what do you mean you don't name your horses? I'm not sure today, why it's a name. We start today, you know, this horse is part of, 
part of the family is part of your family, you know? This horse might potentially save your life one day. Somebody's gotta yeah. remember that. You might be starving in the wild somewhere and you gotta eat it. You might have well, to bury it someday too. Until it does, it will not have a name. <laughs> You're gonna name it after it dies? <laughs> well, let's start with this. I'm not sure. Name your old horse, the one that died. <laughs> Hungry. That is a good name. Yeah, there you go. You can have that one for free, baby. What was <laughs> it? I told him to name it Hungry. <laughs> My horse is sexy, oh, bro. Sheesh. Oh, wow. Okay, about that. That's what I thought. Wow. All right, let's go. If he says anything that starts with the number three, he's lying. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? How much money I have left? I have ninety-five dollars right, left. Ain't, ain't fooling anybody, Zari. Yeah, Do like the horse, though. Looks nice. Definitely looks like a you kind of horse. <laughs> Thank you. And don't worry about the three hundred. Just pay that back whenever. No time limit. I will repay my debt. Alrighty. That horse there is ugly as hell, but it looks like a cow. Hey. hey, but tell me I'm wrong though. What? You know about the about the three thousand, two thousand dollars. Listen, if someone wants to give someone, you know, a horse and they give them two thousand dollars, nobody they're does not that. trying to nobody sleep with them. Nobody does that out of the kindness of their own heart. Yes, they do. Nobody they really does care that. About the yeah, really care about their fucking what's inside their pants. Can you train the horse? Um, I don't. I don't know what the fuck that even means, bro. Hello? Oh shit! Nah, I to catch up with Wu, so I'm gonna take Wu. You guys hold the fort here with uh, with Ali. Wu, you with me? It's time to uh put that new horse to a test. Oh damn! One on one with Cesare. Okay. All right. We're gonna go meet uh, another burrow, okay? So um, they got some updates for us. Let's go. Take advantage of the night. It's this way. Dude, Abby's a beautiful horse, man. Why Abby got nuts? I don't know if you can have female horses. The game is sexist. Got your rifle, Mr. Wu. Yes. All right. Pull that shit out in case, uh, in case we get fucking ambushed or something. I would love to get ambushed just me and Cesare right now. That'd be such a sick story. Listen, if you need to hit the uh, the hay, put your head down or whatever, just say the word, all right? I am good for now. <laughs> he is so used to me leaving soon, man. How's the new horse? Quicker, more athletic. Yeah.
We're gonna cross the bridge. Let's go. Oh my god, if Rust had this night, it would be amazing. You can actually see, but it feels like nighttime. Hold it, hold it. All right, come on. There should be that house right up there, to the right, top right. Gentlemen. Wait a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not it. You're not important right now. Hold on. What was that, yo? <laughs> yes, it's me. How you doing, Woke? How the fuck have you been, man? Where you been? How you doing, sir? My God, I've seen, right you, I've seen you the longest goddamn time. Crazy, huh? Crazy, crazy. Hey, where's my gun? It is right here. You got it? Yes. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and they would, I'll trade you. Wait, does he mean his rifle or his I'll pistol? Give this one, you give me that one back. It's a real personal weapon that, if you remember me saying. Everything okay around here? It's kind of spot is very much frequented it is yeah we well, got that village down there right below us and this is like the only house that uh the abandoned village uh, ah yeah. nobody go go through pleasants i don't think i i think we'll be all right all right let's go inside here yeah? effie how are you brother grinder he's always awake I love this guy. Wait, you hurt. Oh, it's a hell of a fucking place you guys got here. Right? Yeah, it's nice, right? They're keeping it nice and tidy, eh? <laughs> yeah, we got the uh, got the tablecloth. We got the uh the low, you know, it's uh, pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, we couldn't clean up. We didn't have time. You know how it is. Hitting the mattresses is uh, ain't an easy task. Tell me. You hit uh, the big one. You said in the telegram. Mm hmm. Who did you gun down? Jack fucking Kettleman. Got him in the Blackwater Telegram Station.
Holy shit. That easy, huh? It really was that easy. We had just started our day, uh, went over to Emerald. Effie uh, fell off her horse. She got injured, so we had to take her to Valentine. To get her, none of notice had uh, smelling salts or nothing. So we go into Valentine, uh, get yeah. Effie up, and guess who's uh, walking around Valentine? A free man. Newly reformed. Jack fucking Kittleman. With that goddamn mustache. <laughs> you know the one. You know. Yeah. Amadeo spots him. And then Effie walks outside and spots him as well. They confirm it's him. We go outside, saddle up. By that time, he's already running out of town. We lose sight of him just on the edge of town. So we split up briefly to check uh, which way he went. Effie went up towards uh, Heartland Oil Fields. Did a little scope over. Couldn't see nothing. So we determined he's probably heading towards the West or Thieves area. So we'll we rushed the Thieves, the got there before him, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Waited around <laughs> 20, 25 minutes, seeing if anyone was coming in or out of town. Nothing. And around that time, if you needed to uh, lay your head down, I was getting uh, pretty tired. So we decided we needed more numbers to take this on. So we went into Blackwater to telegram Parley, Mikey, or Norman. So we could try and find him. Because if Jack Kettleman's around and out of Sisica, you could expect a few more of his uh, cronies to be lit hanging around as well. But before I could even get off the second telegram, Effie tells me uh, that Jack is in the medical right now. Getting a checkup. So we walk on over from the telegram. And Jack comes walking out of that medical. We get to talking. I ask him. Has he learned his... Have you learned your lesson yet? He asked me, what lesson is that? I said, the lesson of not to fuck with us. He said something along the lines of, I guess you're going to have to find out, partner. Walks away from us, goes into the telegram. We pursue on foot, go inside, and uh, we get to talking. Jack knows how he's fucked up. He knows what he did. But then, as the conversation uh, goes on, he starts to say that we're just lawmen. That we uphold the law in St. Denis more than the actual law does. And we wear ourselves some badges to go along with it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's funny. Considering uh, considering he set up a, the first council in Saint-Denis when we were in prison, and that's exactly what he wanted to do. Uh, no. No, he didn't. It was mine and Tony's idea. That's all right. Right, but he was part of the council in that case, right? Sure, he agreed yeah, to it. He's, he's he all was, part he was of in it. favor of it, right? Of course, yeah. Of course, he's, if he's all, not the one doing it. it now. Then, then of course he's calling us the sure. law or whatnot. That's fine. He was like, people hey, can believe I, whatever I, they want. As you recall, back then I told you all about it. He wanted us all to be one, like, uh, kind of one big group, I guess. But moving on. The rest by tomorrow, I, uh, yes, sir. I explained to Jack how we weren't law. We weren't upholding the law. And that instead, we were educators. Teachers, if you will. People gotta learn uh, their place around here. And we gotta be the ones to teach them that. I said, it's time for Jack to learn his, so I drew. And I put him down. However, Jack had a little someone, someone with him. A friend. That friend was uh, some guy by the name Gaucho. Right, Effie? Was that his name? Gaucho. Gaucho yeah. from way back in the Gaucho. day. Apparently, Big him hat. and Jack goes... Yeah, him and Jack go way back, apparently. Man, we go way back with Jack. And he's gunning us down. That don't fucking mean a thing. Apparently, I asked him, Are you friends with this man? He said, Yeah, we go way back. 
So at that point, you could clearly tell the atmosphere of the room. Should have left. I should have offered him the opportunity to leave, but should have left. I gun jack down. And the uh, gaucho starts opening fire. Effie uh, takes a takes a bullet to the stomach. Gets hit. She's been treated too, though. She's uh she's on the mend, but I guess you're in a lot of pain, Harf. Hmm, a little bit. Be fine though. We she has find, a kite. Yeah. She's. Who needs some YouTube content? I'm working on the rust stuff. Chat remember. For all the new role viewers of Red Dead. See you on your feet, though. I want to turn the combo, but fuck it. I play just a very quiet easy, character. Man. We don't talk right much. The back. ambiance I give is that Wu is always there and just listening. Very rarely gives input. Yeah. Very opposite from Lang. Anyway, he's uh, a soldier. He's just there to do his job. Go to sleep. At that point, me, we, me and Amadeo turn guns to Gacho. I think Amadeo put him down, but I throw a tomahawk in his fucking leg just to make sure. And then we got the fuck out of there. That was earlier today. Okay. So you took him down, you took Gaucho down as well, yeah? Bolted him? Yeah. Who just wants to watch these guys RP? To be honest, I think Gaucho <laughs> acted out of self defense, not for Jack, but it is what it is. Wrong place, wrong time. That's unfortunate. Jack getting people hurt for no fucking reason. Sounds like Jack. So sounds like something he would do. He ain't got his friends anymore, so he's pulling anybody he uh, had a loose connection with in the past. What a fucking shame. Yeah, uh, about that. Uh, Scarpo, did you have more on this? Other than that, uh, he tried to... As When I asked Gaucho his relation to Jack, Jack told him not to say nothing. So maybe the way I seen it in that situation, I think Jack was trying to protect Gaucho in some way. But it, it happened very fast, so maybe there wasn't really an opportunity for him to leave. And I again, I didn't offer the opportunity. I didn't say to Gaucho, like you said, to probably shave, bro. Friend, you know, if you know what's good for you, leave. I didn't get to have that opportunity, but maybe it's worth reaching out to Gaucho. If you if you go way back, kind looks like know, me, you know, dude. Scuffed hairline, big ass head. Know. Sheesh. That's up to you, though. I feel like he was just the wrong place, wrong time, and probably just self defense. But on the other hand, if he's helping Jake and fighting for Jake, then fuck him. He started firing before uh, we fired on him, though. Looks like he picked a side. Fuck him. That was always useless. Good job. All of his. Good job. You gunned the man himself down. For your brother, too, huh? After he put a bullet in his fucking face. How's he doing, by the way? Mikey. Mikey's doing good. He's doing good. He's uh, It's healing up well. It's almost fully closed now, I think. Good. Who else is left on that list? Right, we got... A few. Quite a few still. James Kelly, Wesley Shields, uh, Nick Casey. Casey, Nick Casey, Jed. Uh. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> He's just gonna take a little nap. I gotta pee. Did he feel he was all right? Hold on. Where's Amadou? Where's Amadou? Probably outside, pacing around. What sure was the PE mode, dude? I right back, Chup. Go quick piss. Like I said, who? Uh. Oh. 
Oh, there he is. I'm going to do it right outside. Hey, do you need some more, uh, some more morphine? You sure? All right. Oh yeah. Can you hear me, Sergio? Yeah. Stop out. Yeah. What do you what? Said there? No, no, no. What'd you say? Brain. We need to tell him about our meeting with Alice and the Wallaby Kids and Goldie. I know. I just get into that. All right. Sorry. Just checking. Yeah, you're just, right. You, can, you're right. I've got a list. Wait, have I met her or <laughs> him yeah, before? Get a whole fucking list. I have, I have lists. Men mental lists. Is that Amadeo? You don't keep mental lists, fairly. No. You should. Oh, that's Scarpati. Oh my god, I thought Scarpati... That's the dude with, like, who's balding, right? Maybe I can't tell because of the hat. I need a goddamn motherfucking whiskey. Bro, I thought that was I Amadeo, dude. Holy really shit. You can have one, though. I'm not allowed one, no. Sophia uh, said I can't have any whiskey. Oh, uh, the doctors always say that. Always wrong. Always... Son of a bitch. <laughs> How you being woke? <clears throat> I've been okay. Have you Good. been? You know. Fighting We're skirmishes. All tired. We're all tired, tired and cold and need a, need a bath. Yeah, we're all very tired. That's what these so, yeah. uh, these fights do to you, though. Yes. I'd say take it easy for some time. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I, I was did I interrupt something here? No. No. Afi, what are you doing, dummy? So cute. I'd say um, take it easy for a bit, maybe a day or two. Head back into the city, back to your borough. Get some rest, resupply, get a change of clothes, and then head back out after that. That sound good? Just one that, day, yeah, a, sure. That sounds great. What um, what what day we on? What what, what day is it? Wednesday, Thursday, Monday. Uh, what day is today? I don't know. Wednesday. When, Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, we we go back over there. We get back out on, I don't know, Friday. Yeah. Yeah, Friday's good. Yeah. I mean, you've hit uh, you've hit three separate individuals in the past couple of days. You've done done a hell of a fucking job. Yeah, we got we got more to tell you. You got more, not, yeah. Yeah. All right, shoot. Probably take the stage. You had the conversation. We, uh, stand outside, actually. All right, this uh, inside is kind of, I don't know. Amadeo, how you, you been? Like it? Homie. Shady. It's right, kind of homie. Why? Why? But <laughs> right, this is Amadeo. Why does he look like it's fucking Winchester? Me. It's homie. Definitely no one called. I don't know. Probably likes it. The um, oh shit. Earlier today, we um, had a little talk with with Addy. You know Addy, right? Addy Winwood, yeah, he's back. Yeah, yeah, he's back. He's been back for a while, a couple of days, I think. We uh, we met up with him 
at Wallace Station because he wanted to talk to me. He wanted to catch up, right? Because you know me and him, we 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 was close friends. It, we still are, right? But you know, things have changed a little bit since we last caught up. Yeah, he wanted to catch up, see what's going on. I fucking love Winchester. He um he done spoke to a few people who uh from out west. He he got his concerns because he got people on that side that he care about, but he stands neutral in his whole thing. So much so that he offered, you know, get us supplies that we need, shit like that. That's good now, to hear. Yeah. He had some things he could tell me, and I feel like there's a lot of things that he just, you know, he can't tell me because he got friends out there, and I, you know, I, I can respect that. The uh, one of the important things he mentioned was that Jack still got a strong group to ride out with that he had at least six men the um our work one of the things is done is even though their group being a little split up right because they got the kelly gang they got mills and alice doing their own thing and shit what we done we gave him a what was the word he used they got common interests now, even though they split up. And that's to uh, go against us, is what we be doing. Which is a little strange. Like Scarpo said. But, um. So basically, mm. the gang's not together, but they're together to fight us, right? Does that include Mills? Uh, he said that Mills, Alice, and Kaniklo are in no way part of Jack's thing. Not no more. That's his word. All right. But I another think, confirmation, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 yeah. It's, you can take it as confirmation, but mind you. And I don't want to doubt Eddie, right? But he holds Mills, Kaniklo. I don't know about Alice, but he holds Mills and Kaniklo real close. You know, that that's his folks, right? So he might be saying that thing to protect them. I don't know. But I don't think he would straight up lie to my face. He um he said one thing that would uh most likely help. To not have to deal with them. He brought up the uh, Caniclo's debt, right? Which is probably about how much is it now? Well, it was at eighteen hundred. Right. The Bronco went to chip next year. Fuck you. Apparently, they uh, you know, still think about it. Not paying it. But he mentioned something along the lines of if, if we let that go, that would um, highly like it, it would be highly likely that if we let that go, that'll be Mills, Alice, Caniclo, all three, we wouldn't have to worry about. They would probably break off completely. We would probably never see him again. Hmm. That's actually very interesting that you mentioned that now. Um, the Wallaby kid showed up at the house earlier today. What? Yeah. Showed up? Is it showed up, showed up, or just showed up? But showed Truck. up, walked into the uh, premises and said that, uh, well, he heard that Scapa wanted to meet with him. And he was asking me why. I told him, "Hey, you should you should probably talk to Scapo and all that." Well, he um he seemed to be insistent, so we had the conversation. He said the exact same things that you're saying right now. 
that as long as we stay away from Caniclo and everything we uh, had against him, that Mills and Alice are going to also stay away from Jack's current issue. But if we do push for it, we're just going to bring them together closer and, and fight for a common cause. A common cause of $1,800? Bull shit. Hmm. Enemy of my, I don't know, previous best friend or whatever. I mean, that's, that's what I'm seeing. Uh, Babies. Ouch. No. I don't know. Please? No. Scapo's fucking sister. What? What? Good. I'm just I'm just checking to see if I got the bees in that. I just would take it easy, eh? So um that's what he said. Exact same thing you're telling me here. The exact same thing. Yeah, bullshit. So it was either the 1800 or seeing if Kaneko was actually hurt. From what we gather, he is hurt. Or he was hurt. There was a medical report that Ali saw as well that uh, kind of certified that a bit. I'm thinking we leave that on the back burner a bit and um, we focus more on Jack and his current gang and whatnot. So leave Kaneko to his side for the time being. Guys, you'll have nerd neck. Okay. What about Mills another and war of Another war of Eagle. You couldn't just pay the money. Don't make fun of Woo, man. But anyway, yeah. yeah. Fuck them. Because getting Kaniklo, Alice, and Mills involved is going to get the Wallaby Kid and his people involved as well. Everyone's got a friend. So let's just keep that as it is. Anything else I should know about here? Uh, the uh, the Scarpo, the, the thing with uh, Alice and down in Tumbleweed. We talked about that yesterday. Oh, we did? Shit. Now listen, uh, the problem that Jack had is that we were, we were taking money off Mills for this whole thing. All right, that's the problem. That's why things are started. Can you, can you Sorry, yeah. Jack had a problem with us taking money off uh, Kaniklo, even though Kaniklo offered the money. Now, all I'm saying is that Jack has got what he wants now. Jack Kittleman got his way. Sure, they took a few hits. If you ask me, it's one big fucking rose. Splintered. That's what we say in the group is. I think it's a fucking rose. I think they're all still buddy buddy, pally pally. That's why Alice was there. That's why Mills was there at that meeting. Agitating, provoking, trying to cause a fight. We gotta find this the right music right now. Hold on. Strategy to get us to drop this. Could that's be. just how. That's just how I see it. To be honest, I don't buy it for a second either. But I told the Wallaby kid. That if Mills and Alice go back and start fighting for Jack, even if we don't go after Kaniklo and push Kaniklo, it's going to look bad on him and that he better fucking do something. So, keep in mind, Wallaby hates the fucking guy, right? For what he did to him. What are you talking about, Red? It's like what you said yesterday, Sergio. Alice is getting, this is her one, right? We're giving her this one. Everyone gets one. That's right. Yeah. That's right. We've got a long list of others that are definitely still riding with Jack. We could put Mills and Alice in the back burner for now. If they come back and decide they want to ride with Jack, we get them the second time. Agreed. So maybe. Yeah. I was, I, I'll be honest. Yesterday, I was not agreed. I wanted to hit Alice when we got her, but. Now I see that that's, that was the right decision to be made, given everything else. It's so. good that you're talking to these people before you put them down.
Yeah. Yeah. See, Mr. Wu? Lots of shit happening. This is, uh... <laughs> pretty, uh... Fucked up conflict. Yes, I'm not going to lie. I'm having trouble keeping up. <laughs> yeah. Even those that, uh, that are... Uh, Deeply involved, still have time uh, and trouble understanding exactly why things went down the way they did. But the whole point here is, guys, blood has been spilled. They shot Mikey Scott Patty in the face. We're just showing them what payback looks like tenfold. They want blood, we give them blood. Fuck no $1,800, fuck everything else. Jack knew the consequences of what he was doing. He's feeling it here firsthand. You take your rest. You go back to the city now. You get changed. You do what you have to do. Friday, you get back to the hunt. I want that James Kelly. Good. Shut the fuck up. I want him to feel it as well. Any information you can bring us on him is welcomed. Ain't got nothing. Yeah, we ain't seen him. We ain't heard of him. Nothing. Blackwater seems to be a hot spot for these people. We got Marquis there. We got Jake. We saw uh, Aurora there too the second time. Yeah, we, we saw there. Aurora again. We could have hit her again, but fuck that. Yeah. What's the... um uh The... I don't mean to be sidetracked and shit, but what's what's the deal with uh two snakes? Oh, uh, we're setting up a sit down today. All right. So it's also why I came and I requested this meeting. I need Amadeo, and I need uh I need Sergio to come with us. Early, you go with that. Yeah, James Kelly's the guy we met in the Anything. bar, right? All right. You pick up anybody that's over there that's, uh, you know, that's got extra hands at the house. You stay with them for a bit. You kind of enjoy the city life again for a while, okay? Yeah. Sounds good. Where, uh, we going down to the city now, or? Yeah, unless you guys got anything else for me. Yeah, he took your advice, too, that the moon causes, it. man. That's about it. Oh, we are. Uh... people at the house? Yeah. Oh, We've, uh, we changed camp again. Okay, where at? Uh, it's at, you know that kind of ranch that we stayed up near with Pity last time? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There. It's there. It's bro, there. that does not look like Amadeo, but, bro. Yeah, we're, we're staying in the city for a day. I'll let everyone know. Oh, well, yeah, the other rest. one's Amadeo. That's Scarpetti. Uh, I can't, I can't do it, bro. They all tired. look the same to me, man. I understand. Get your things. We're riding together back into the city. All right. Mr. Wu. How you feeling about all this? I know it's a lot. <clears throat> I'm not sure what to think yet. But I I'm not sure. I'm not really too caught up yet. Yeah, it's been a while. I can't force the fight because I want to, chat. that's why I hesitated. They spilled our blood. We're spilling it back tenfold. That's just the way yes. they do things. Well, I will do as you wish. Yeah, for the time being, Scott Patty and his crew, they're, uh, they're taking charge to do that for the family. So you, me, and everybody else that was back in the city is kind of uh, holding back and... um. Well, we're going to be taking care of that other uh, conflict that we have on the uh, on our front line. So we're going to go to that sit down. You're going to be heading to to, uh, to you know hit the hay soon, or you're gonna you're gonna stick around for that. I am good for now. All right, let's get back to the city then. If you have any oh. questions, you let me know. Okay. Yes. 
Dude, I, the slow walking just looks way too awkward for me. Yeah, well, let's go. I'm a there. You sticking around? Yep. Madeo. Hmm? You sticking around? Yeah. All right, good. Is Zeus still paranoid? Of course. Yeah, I love Cesar's drip too. It's always so. It matches his character so well. He feels bad about the six second thingy. Oh, I mean, it's definitely like derailed me a little bit, but then that compounded with like the rust addiction didn't help for sure. But hey, we're getting back into it, man. I do feel like we were hitting a really nice flow though with Wu and the, the building of his story. Are going to do a lot of rust again this wipe? Fuck yeah, buddy. I'm kind of embracing uh, killing my channel to stream other shit. I'm not gonna lie to you, chat. I kind of just do whatever the fuck I want now. Oh, with that being said, we're definitely gonna get hit with GTA addiction again if the heists are actually good and doing plans is actually fun. If you had a choice, would you decrease jail time on all RP? Um, it's not my server, man. I don't care to have you bait me for my input. It does not matter. Looking back home. Get a bath and then uh, come meet you somewhere. In, you come meet us somewhere in the city. All right, I'll pick you and Amadeo up at your barrel, right? Okay, we'll be at uh, you know where our, our spot is, right? Still. Yeah, yeah, all right, good. We'll be there. All right, my will be. Oh, did you see the second club about I assume Toph? What do you say? Well, I don't know what you guys ended up choosing yesterday. I fell asleep and didn't see. I fell asleep as well, man. Dogs that look like chicken nuggets are cute, and Buddhas look like a yeah. Office definitely look, looks like a chicken nugget, bro. Huh, seems they ain't home. Maybe they went down to the telegram office or something. Let's just wait for him here.
Am I not smoking? What is grooming? Like doing your hair and shit? We need some whiskey, no whiskey today, man. Yeah, it's kind of cute. A Buddha's dog looks like a chicken nugget, is what I'm basically saying. If a dog looks like a chicken nugget, it's kind of cute. <laughs> a Buddha's dog looks like a chicken nugget, is what I'm basically saying. But <laughs> I mean, it's kind of kind of true though, just a little bit, kind of true. <laughs> the fuck was that? I have no idea. Uh, did uh, did Amadeo come through here? Uh no no no. I said we were gonna pick him pick uh pick him up at the he's, he's probably at the blue pearl right now. Oh yeah, no, nah, he just broke off. He he went we like I went down chicken nugget. I'll, uh, I'll grab a few things from the kitchen real quick. Coffee's right. just brown, right? So she lays down, it's like a big like scuffed looking nugget, dude. Very fluffy. I mean come on. He also kind of looks like a fucking bear, dude. Crazy how things change from one day to another, huh, Mr. Wu? We missed out on uh, quite a bit, but uh, we'll be slowly caught up. What the fuck is Wu doing? Slowly but surely. Yes. The crossing moves fairly quickly. Yeah. I teach post. these motherfuckers a lesson. What do you think the end goal here is for them? I see y'all later. Take it easy, Pearly. You mean where? Where they would call quits? Where they would say, hey, we have enough? Well, not that. It just seems they are threatened by the power of your family. And I'm wondering, at what point does that not feel like a threat anymore? I guess until either side, uh, six feet under, there's going to be a lot of that. If this continues the way it is. It's a terrible thing. But they fucking chose it. Well. I do not believe they are very intelligent then. Yeah. Yeah, all this time we've had a good standing with the guy. He knows the way we work, he knows the way we operate, and sure, maybe that'll be an advantage to him, but he also knows we can be kind and good friends. But we can also be worse enemies. I don't know why he chose this, Mr. Wu. I, I don't I don't know why. He went down this route. It's not, um, it's not what a man would do to a man who protects his family, who protects his own. You know, it's, it's, it's almost, it's, it's almost suicide at this point. You know, I don't understand him. Well, maybe he's looking to meet his fate. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, maybe this is exactly what he wants, huh? One last way out. Yes. Maybe he does not have much left to live for. How you doing? Maybe you not. Stern? Hey guys, how you doing? Okay. I was wrong. Damn it. This is Eddie. I got a telegram. Um, I gotta set up a meeting. They want a public spot. I think that's a fantastic idea. Public spot. You got anything in mind? Because we were thinking gazebo and roads. Gazebo and roads. Ooh, that's like fucking extra public. Jesus Christ. Okay. To be fair, Rose, though, has been pretty quiet as of late. It is public, yeah, but it's not exactly in the middle of fucking Valentine. There's another place, the Caligal. No one would usually go there at all. That's it. It's not public really enough. Public. Yeah. Mm. It's publicly private. It's I don't think that makes sense. Ooh. It's a flat neck, but... Uh, it's also very publicly private. I'm sure it's they're looking for something more like along the lines of uh, Bastille or Blue Pearl or... I'm hungry. Maybe uh, Rhodes Parlor House, something along those lines, you know, where uh, people might be frequenting a lot. I don't know. What time? Time you said? Yeah. What time do they want to meet? Uh, well, they they only asked for it to be a public spot. They say they they said to reach. Uh, sorry, they wait for me to reach out. So I haven't sent them anything yet. I swear it's been raining since we got on. Okay. So where's it gonna be then? Listen, after, after I cook that sausage upside down, I'm tired of making decisions around here, okay? So somebody's got to speak up and tell me what the fuck we're having this week. I'd yeah, certainly prefer it to be in the city, if you think they'd be comfortable with that. How can you cook a sausage upside down? I don't know. I don't know. That's the thing. I've been thinking about it for days. I'm sorry, Olivia. What, what did you say? This the storm is really loud. I said if they're comfortable with it, I would definitely prefer it if it's in the city. Our area, if it goes south, we know the uh, the landscape, whatnot. We definitely know that law doesn't slip around as often as say roads or anywhere else. Two cents. Could just blackwater docks, blackwater rooftops, rooftops here in Saint Denis. It's mm. not too discreet. Roof still rooftops public are too eye. private. Blackwater is like pretty close to yeah. Kettleman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By the way, what happened with Effie? With Effie? Yeah. yeah. She uh, she got shot up, but um, but the boys got uh, got Jack today. Who was with Jack? Goucher was with Jack. Yeah. Collateral Are damage. You... Wait, who? Gaucho? Gaucho Escobar. That's right. Forgive me, but who the fuck is that? Nobody. Listen, let's uh, not deviate from the uh, from the point here. We have a meeting to set up. Where are we setting this up? I, I suggested Emerald Ranch, but I got shot down. Hey, I didn't shoot you down. No, I got shot down. You shot me down. Kind of like the sound of flat neck. I don't know. It's, I mean, it's not in a city or anything like that or a town, right? But 
it's public. People ride by there a lot. It's closer to Valentine. I don't know. I kind of like the idea of Emerald. You know, it's in the middle of both Valentine and San Denis. Emerald does does kind of check all all the, you know, requirements. I suppose. Um, People do ride by yeah. there frequently. It's flat. Weather conditions aren't too harsh. It's public. Humidity is low. It's it's a great place. You guys would like it? Could I actually talk at the telegram station right then and there? A lot of seats. All that. And there's also the bar. Probably gonna be people there, maybe Billy Joe Barber and whatnot, if they're still around that area. But so, if there's people there, then we'll take it to the telegram station. I'd say I think that's a good idea. Emerald sounds good. Okay. Okay. No, it's fine. I mean, you shot me down the first time, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> Oliver, oh. dude, is so mouthy. Just so, Oliver, just, I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna set this up for an hour from now. Okay, oh, Amadeo okay. and uh. Scott, no. For me, it's good. Scott Bull's crew is back in town, by the way. They're uh, they're laying low. And then they'll be back out on the hunt on Friday. So if you see them in town, just just know that. So we're taking Amadeo and Scott Bull tonight to this meeting. Mm. Who else? So I'm I not think sure if should be there. Ollie, Ollie needs to be there, yeah. Mr. Wu can come along as well. I'd like to I be don't know. There. Sorry? I'd like to be there. I don't know if we should not. be bringing along uh, Scapo and, uh, and Amadeo, given the fact that, uh, you know, they were already kind of Predisposed. involved in the, the, other, in the other. Yeah, they're, they're probably exhausted right now, so I don't know. Yeah, that's a good point. Hmm. So, you, me, Wu, Oliver, Olivia. Who else? It's very likely that um, this is going to go down and uh, become a uh, a shootout. It's a high probability, as always, especially with these guys. We've already gunned them down. They've gunned us down. So we need somebody that uh, we've seen in a shootout. Please. As far as who I've seen in a shootout, I haven't, I haven't seen very many of us in a shootout. Um, I know my guys are, are ready and willing, both of them, but I just can't speak for that because I haven't seen it yet. It hasn't the opportunity hasn't come up? I'll be the same as going to the meeting. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, we need yeah. one more. I think I should set this out since I'm not very uh, aware of much of uh, this whole Tommy Two Snake situation. I'm more of a cattleman thing, so I don't mind seeing this out. Could be a good I time feel to, bad uh, going when I barely put Red Dead. Here. But I will mention I do already have one of my crew going with Wu, so if you wanted a representative from a different crew, I'd understand. I am also willing to sit out, if it's best. Clark wants it there? I know he wants it there, but, yeah. uh, you know. With how little you've been around, you better fucking be there, you freeloader. <laughs> I didn't want to be the one saying. And he's my guy. <laughs> I can talk shit to him if I want to. Guys, I'm a busy man, guys. Take the closer, Zaddy. Olivia, why do you want to be there? I'm connected in that web. For better or worse, at least with the class situation and with Frank. 
before the solo went down, I did have a good relation with him. And how are your wounds keeping up? You were recently shot. Like I said, I, I need can, somebody that can shoot. I can hold a rifle and I can do what I need to do if it goes that way. Listen, I know that situation didn't go uh, as we would have liked. But I'm a good shot. I'm not going to sit down around that. I can hold my own. I, I can confirm firsthand that she's a good shot. Yeah, no First doubt in my mind. My concern is that she's been shot recently. I can hold my weapon, like I said. All and right. I won't speak unless I ask a question. Somebody riding in hot. Okay. Dom, you're coming with us then. Um, Sissy, if you're going to stick around, you can stick around with Scott Batty's crew. Um, All right. They should be by the Blue Pearl. All right. I'll go. I'll go over there. Yeah. Make your way over there now, please, and uh, we'll be heading out of here very soon. Oh, fucking hey, on the Jesus. Just getting something inside of me. Hey. Hey, Amadeo. Hey. I want you to take the day, uh, to relax. Time I'm gonna grab some snackies. Hungry. You okay? You 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 all right? Yeah, I'm good. Just say if you if you need me, I'm there. If you don't need me, I'll uh, I'll sit down. Okay. Right. Hey. All right, everybody that's going, get your fucking rifles, equipment, everything. We're back. Grab us some snackies. It's gonna be in an hour from now too, right? Yeah, I guess we got time. Send a telegram now to me. That was away. Get that was away. You got it. Duh. Got some snackies.
<laughs> Got some pepperoni sticks and cheese, man. It's so good. Sorry, I was just questioning myself what kind of facial hair that was. Come on, we're on the move. Actually, Actually, fuck you. I forgot he just wanted us to wait the house till they come back from the telegram office. But after that, we're gonna be on the move. So if you had to do something, do something. Understood. All right. Give me my snackies. Give me got any clips? So I eat my snackies. I'm being fat ass, fuck you. I got so mean, man. You fucking cocksucker! I'm fucking dare you! Jesus! May your mother die of cancer of the eyes. Jesus! You ever been in a gunfight before, Dom? Yeah. Go pick him up, he needs help. I don't know. Seven you better fucking nine. put that away right what are you now. You shit like a pair of zap, bro. What's wrong with what's wrong with pepperoni sticks and cheese, man? Blood gave me. Mine on you first, cocksucker. Put it away. Your phone? friend's bleeding out back there. You better help him. Fuck this. I couldn't tell you. Bro. Jesus. Now we're going flat. Holy fuck! If we came over there causing trouble, well, I tell you, you what, I was causing answer. trouble from to West watch. to Valentine to Emerald to Saint Denis. I thought you didn't care about Saint Denis. I don't. That's why I left the deputy bleeding over there. And then one of your people got fast with me. So tell me, what you doing out here? Terribly. Are you coming to uphold the law out west too? Do Don't bother. Have to respond. Or they're gonna say something outrageous to man nah, Jack. And when we don't don't want to meet it. They'll just start I shooting. see us as uh, educators, teachers. People gotta learn respect. People gotta learn their place in this world. Time for you to learn yours. No, no. Jesus! They're causing trouble. I'm curious what you would think this would be. Would be enough. I see us as uh, educators, teachers. People gotta learn respect. Calling it off. Just saying. People gotta learn their place in this world. Time for you to learn yours. That's the only one. What? It's not gonna be that. No, no. They're gonna ask us for. <laughs> Money or, or, or weapons or, or something else that we can't give or don't want to give. We'll, we'll be on earlier. Hey, take it easy, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, it's funny, consider something else. <laughs> That's why they're the bosses. I have my snackies. Oh, where am I rifle? Hey, woo. Hmm. Are yes. you licking the new food? It is good. Yeah, I, I mean, I believe it. it. hasn't made you puke yet. Well, it's real food. What? What do you mean? What, what, what did this guy eat before? Not that. Yeah, but go, that's for sure. Oh, 
There's no I real food. I don't understand. I don't understand what, what his problem is with the gabagool. It's, it's a cut of beat. It's a cut of cold cut. Uh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm shocked. I'm horrified. Are you Gabagool. just finding out he hates Gabagool? Yeah. Yeah, it's the, uh... I, I would have thought that it was the, the fucking... Spaghetti Ranch, they, they would have made him puke. I mean, come on. They would have made anybody puke, but... Gotta go. Now, that's news to me. You're gonna need to clean that repeater. If you want to inspect your rifle, see how dirty it is. Whoa. No, you just sort of, yeah, look at it closely on your belt. There you go, you got it. It's a little dirty, actually. That's not too bad, though. How bad we're looking? <clears throat> it's a bit dirty, but it's okay. Nah, it's not. We're going to go to the gun store once they get back, pick up some gun oil. Uh, they could probably clean it up for you while you're there if you want to, but I don't, I don't know how much money you have. I believe I have enough. Hopefully. Cleaning a weapon at the counter as opposed is, uh... It's a lot more expensive as opposed to just cleaning up with gun oil. But gun oil doesn't really get rid of that degradation quite as well. It's a BDS fan. Yeah. It's taking a while. Also, heads up, chat. I don't want to talk about private shit, but uh, I'm moving a bunch of shit into storage tonight. Yeah, I'm going to be staying at uh, Tony's place. And then from there, I'm going to go to Texas. And then from Texas, I'm possibly going to Toronto for a little bit. TV man are over. Yes, sir. The lease is up. Uh, I mean, I got a bunch of shit to take care of. I mean, we're all doing our own thing, really. I mean, we're always going to be fucking boys, though, for life, so. We're all also, we're also all grown-ass people. We'll go to Toronto Airport. Yeah, well, my family just all moved back over there, so I kind of want to go, and uh, I might end up just going there to spend some time with them. I'm not sure yet. I got so much shit I got to figure out. No, I'm not going to fucking Canada to gamble, dude. I have family there, man. I don't plan on staying there very long. <laughs> LA's the base. I just got to figure some shit out, bro. That's what XQC said too, bro. I'm not XQC, man. I enjoy gambling, but that's my own enjoyment. I'm not going to stream it. I enjoy the content I already do on my channel, bro.
think it's possible for random people to make it onto all rp higher lower chance than no pixel way higher chance than no pixel bro Did I just see the Buddha's gonna get it twisted? No, chat's being stupid, man. He's gonna host all the streamers party now? I don't know. I mean, the thing with the house, like, we love the house, but we knew it was just gonna be temporary. Like, it's not something that we we're gonna do forever, dude. Well, it ain't. I just didn't have an experience. It was a fucking great one. It was a good time. Moments I'll never forget. Hello, Dave. And you just move on. How you doing? Are you getting your own place in Toronto? Are you staying with brother and sister? I'm gonna be staying with my brother and sister probably, but I'm not gonna be there for very long. It's just gonna be a couple of days. And I haven't even 100% decided if I'm going yet. I'm kind of lazy, but I do miss my family. Whoa. That's fucking right. Now, Texas, I'm 100% going to Texas because I'm right. setting up property yeah. management there to rent my house. We're heading over to the Emerald Ranch then in that case. But, uh location changes or anything just tell her back to okay. cali yeah my my home is in la um, i love it here way too much yeah sure sure i'll tell you yeah, yeah right. so you should probably head over to uh to the blue pearl stick the around pearl. with uh yeah the, with everybody what, else is over the, there the, the plan change sonny's not no, the house yeah. rented out yes sir it's very well, common in the yeah, real okay, world so man. the roster changed same thing except for um uh sky pot is coming and going to my place oh okay Look, uh, Cesare, this is important. This meeting is important. The idea is to defuse the situation. Oliver being there is going to be, well, it's going to be spicy, okay? That being said, though, we should not bend. I'll let you decide, depending on how the conversation goes. He can rent it out, pay it off, and go live there whenever he wants. I guess exactly. we're going to take it, but we should not bend. If anything, they owe us at the moment. Hmm. Actually, everything out of house, having passed the income, crazy idea, right? Yeah, good luck. That's uh, that's probably not gonna fly, Sonny. Fact that they owe us, considering we started this shit in the first place. Damn, disagreement going well, on over here. I'm not. I'm not call it even. I understand. I understand. I'm just saying, don't don't bend. Don't bend the knee. Hey man, you want me to fucking bend the knee? I'm just saying. I'm just saying, don't do it. You know what I mean? I'm not saying you are gonna do it. I'm just saying, don't do it. You calling me a knee bender now? Is that what you're fucking saying here? You should, Ooh, what are you trying to say? Fucking, huh? Did I call him a fucking be knee bender? That's not what I said. I said don't do it. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, good luck. All right. This is a high, high profile meeting. This is spicy, spicy as it gets. All right. Good luck and take care. You guys streaming all tonight? Rest all tonight? Yeah, we'll probably go on alt uh, a little later. Stream some base building, some chill yeah. shit. Come up with a new base for the boys. Also, I want to do the base way smaller so we can actually focus like on hemp farms and shit. Get the base done day one, hemp farm day two. What's better, GTRP or Red Dead? Uh, they're both uh, very different. Okay, I'll stream Rust on your main. I do sometimes. I don't, I don't really do variety a lot because it just ruins my like even Red Dead. Like I, I don't do Red Dead a lot for the same reason. Like uh, analytics, man. Like I, I'm telling you, boys. Like I'm shameless as fuck, boys. I like my sponsors. It makes me not have to stress so much about subs and shit. Very well done, everybody. I'm glad we practiced that. I thought, I thought so. Yeah, that was fucking. Yeah, that was good.
I still want to run by the gun store and the doctor and all that. And 40k subs, yeah, sure not enough. It's not about 14k subs not being enough. It's me not caring if that goes from 14k to 10 to because I'm getting sponsors. Bank, or to five, or to three, or to two. There you go. Thanks, Mike. Uh, I guess not. On our way to Rhodes. Pick up the stuff from there. Is there a medical place? They don't have medical. Yeah, medical they do. Rhodes. Yeah, they do. Oh, yeah. Was against an impact yeah. sponsors on the 18th. Oh, the defense. That's right. Everybody got the, what they need, medical, ammunition. You don't listen to anything, I swear we, to God. We need to, we need to stop off in Rose to, uh, to get toned up enough. Rose, why don't we just go to the fucking medical here? I'm going on Dusty Rose. <laughs> <laughs> we said all this, but oh she, I guess you weren't listening. You weren't listening at all. I have a serious love for Genshin Impact. I will admit it. Hey, nothing wrong with that, man. You enjoy what you enjoy, my man. You know what I'm saying? You're good. Okay, so when I asked for the alt, it was a secret, but now everyone knows. Yeah, man. Join Discord for alt streams, dude. You're gonna get a rust of it. I'm telling you, Sinks, listen, take this as you will. People don't take my rust opinion seriously because they don't really understand how long I've played the game. But uh, the, that wipe on no pixel, I thought it was going to be utter dog shit and boring. And it was probably better than any public wipe I've ever played. If I'm being honest. But now the, the sad reality is, though, it, it's only like that because it's not filled with fucking. Super Giga Sweats who will door camp you for 12 hours. You can actually play the game and enjoy it. Or the OTV in your opinion? OTV was better in a different way though. Like this is probably, was this better for PvP for me? 100%. It's not even comparable. But OTV was just more fun than it's just fun. Yeah, but some of the like some of the fights we like that gas station fight that lasted an hour and a half was just fucking ridiculous. I'm excited for uh, this wipe. We'll see what happens. What the fuck? Yeah, bro. The wa the fight literally lasted an hour and a half of nonstop fighting at a fucking gas station. It was absolutely insane. To apply I'm a new by promise so I know they're coming up with an application system but the thing with like people who have a lot of hours they just have to get ready just to if they run solo they're probably going to be tier locked and if they don't want to run solo and they want to just play the game they have to like play with a group of noobs and teach them the game this mining man was Buddha's base <laughs>
I'd recommend you all take an ample amount of ammo. Bro, are we about to get Personally, in a shootout for real? I feel like we're gonna get debated oh, here, bro. Shit. Get your guns cleaned, yeah. Mr. Moon, so oh my god, we're, we're missing, we're meeting Mr. Moon's. Oh shit. What? Why well, did I punch my horse? Sorry, right, buddy. Okay, I think nobody saw that. You all done in there? Yes, I am ready. How much ammo do you have on you? I have enough. Oh, the specifics, Will, please. About 40 rounds. That's not enough. You need at least a full stack of 50 of each. What? Bruh, I used five shots last fight. Yeah, thank me later when you don't run out of bullets in the middle of a gunfight. Oh, it's, wrong. That's, that's an alleyway. <laughs> I hope to God we get into a fucking shootout, bro. Am I go bad? I don't think anything goes bad on the server. Some shootouts have lasted like 30 minutes plus. Wait, really? Make sure your uh, safety's off, feeling real aggressive, all that good shit. Doesn't health regen so you have some long ass fights? I don't know. I mean, the fight we had, I guess, wasn't really a fucking fight. We kind of slaughtered them in like three seconds, so. We get some fucking vibey music on or what, dude? You're gonna be mad. I'm so far behind. Set up a little buddy uh, buddy system here. Scapo, you're with me. Ollie, you're with Mr. Wu. Olivia, you're with Dom. All times. Mr. Wu and uh, and Ollie, you're staying on the left at all times, all right? Dom, oh. Dom, Olivia, you're always on the right. Just uh, keep ourselves organized when riding out. Don't bundle up. So, Dom, get mm -hmm. over here on my right. There you go. You and Scapo take the midside. Guys, whatever fucking happens here, okay? This meeting can go any goddamn way. I know we've been to several of these before, but none like, no, none quite like this. These people have spilled our blood, we've spilled theirs. So this, this, and especially with Oliver there. Fuck, maybe we need something more intense. Off, right, this is very fucking likely if we do not come to terms here. What I need you to do is to mock people. Basically, once we're in the meeting, Figure out who's you're gonna be shooting if things go down. 
Back to the Sisica for questions. five days, boys. Yeah. Our code word. You know the one. Old does country it, is always the same one, yeah. Does it mean, does, for this scenario, does it mean shoot or draw? Because we need to make that distinction now. It's just a draw on him. All right. The minute a fucking round goes off, you start shooting. Everyone hear that? You hear the word old country. You hear that phrase, you draw and point. Nah. Let's get water out of here. This nasty swamp ass water. It's best for, uh, for battle. Better. Yes. The fucking our immune system. Extra protein. Let's cross over here to the right. Come on. Bow, 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 bow. Oh, you got a fucking so gator on your right. You're so cute, baby. Pulled the rug out from under you, didn't they? What? How they went? It's good to see you back on your feet. Bow. I still got my stitches in, but we'll be fine. And the ammo. Hi. Can we can we help you? Zari here. He may How be you why. I heard he's looking to talk to me. Yeah, now's not a good time. You're dealing with something right now? Allegedly. We're going hunting an albino alligator, yeah. Real important stuff. You can go back into the city and talk to uh, Santino. He's over there. He'll hear you out. Heard your, uh, your friend Wallaby came over. Said yeah, that you ain't with Jack no same. more. I'll go talk to true? Santino. What about Kelly over here? Is that him? Wrong. Let me guess. You're part of the refugees too? You with, you with Wallaby as well? You, you with these two right here? Because based off of what I know... I'm with myself. You're with yourself now, huh? Independent man. Listen, fellas. Jack fucked up. He spilled out blood first. All right? If you truly ain't with him... God forbid, that's a lie. What about that money on Kaniklo's head? As long as Kaniklo was indeed hurt by Jack, as he promised, we ain't collecting. It's a shame to say it. The guy could have paid up. I didn't want the guy to get hurt. 
I like Kaniklo. Seems like a good guy. To say old Jack. country, bro. They fucking put him in that spot. It was Jack. They fucking stabbed him. We could have been fine right here with the eighteen hundred dollars or fifteen or whatever the fuck it was. We don't have time for this right now. Sure. Talk to Santino. Figure out where James is at too. Ciao. And the ammo. Have fun. Welcome for stopping. Don't say that. Come on, let's get avoid avoid being spotted by the train. Let's move here to the left. Move on the left. I'm moving on over to, over here to the left. Come on. There's a lot more action this is GTRP. No, this is way more slow paced, man. This is chill vibes. My horse is fast as hell now. Holy shit. The intensity is higher though? Oh, for sure, yeah. Go. What you doing, buddy? Snake. Here. Why are you looking at me like that? Huh? Come on, your day off? Fuck no. We stream and rest, bro. Hmm. Split up for whatever reason, we're meeting back up in Ansberg. Ansberg telegrams or just the main street of Ansberg. If we All get right. split up, I'm gonna I'm gonna go underneath the gallows. You can you can hide quite well there if you go prone. No need to hide. Maybe. For us, is old school is Overwatch 2 is mad. That was literally the worst stream I think I've ever had. Spread out. Woo, all of them are left. Spread that shit wide. Stay within your shot. A sorry clip on LSF. Hey, at least we farmed a good clip. It's possible they could be there now. At least we farmed a good clip, man. I don't see nobody, but this is a bad angle. Yeah, Santino's at a telegram station, right? Let's swing right, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's a good vantage point. All right, come on.
You found a few clips you were featured in Noob Hunter's YouTube. What is that? Hold, hold, hold. That's why you gotta stay wide. This is literally why you gotta stay wide. Literally why I told you to go left and right. <laughs> Nate there. All right. I'm gonna go send Sonny a telegram that uh, these fucks were out there. Oh yeah, TF2 is god tier. It's not even comparable to fucking dog shit Overwatch. Miss playing TF2? Me too, man. Should run it back, dude. We have two tournaments on Twitch, Twitch Rivals. Oh, you can stream for? Eight and skate, baby. We're done in 20 minutes. Assuming we're not going to jail. Dying and stream dying. <laughs> Maybe the second part. You guys think the other group is going to get into a shootout or what? That's right. Well, look, uh, all, all, all directions. They could be coming from anywhere. <laughs> Up, down, left, right, doesn't matter. They could drop down on us from a hot air balloon. <laughs> That's what I'm fucking talking about. Get the fucking train. That is yeah. the train. Shit. Guns away, guns away, come on. Let's back it up over here. Trees. 
Hogs in our favor. Looks like it went the other way. Just wait for it to get a little further. Fifteen minutes, this should be around here. We could probably take this meeting into that uh, saloon. You want to leave the horses here? Do we want to take it into a saloon, or do we want to keep open space? Riders. Even lots of riders, yep. Give a normal move, normal move. How many you count? Holy Please. shit. Five. Five. We getting our voice. Yeah. Dismount. No, we need to get eyes first. Not them. Good law. Who is it? Not sure. I don't think it's them though. Right, back up, don't be seen. If it's not them, we don't want to be seen. Because they might think we're someone that they're looking for, you know? Yeah. Calm the horses down. Right? Don't let it kick me, please. Chill, Abby. Their horses. Better dip. Was it a deputy or what? Aww. Come out of sight. Come out of sight. Come down. Spotted. Nope, 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 you're good. Did we really not get spotted? You miss a lot if you're not looking for it. So was was that law? No, it didn't know. look like it, but uh they did have someone looking out, they just didn't look this way. Someone's getting fired. <laughs> How's everybody feeling, eh? Ready. I've been mm -hmm. warming up for about a week. Got those, uh, bumps to go? <laughs> I told you, I'm done. Bumps to go, after this shit pops off, I expect you to take full fucking bumps. You need you to go ape shit on these motherfuckers, eh? I, I don't know about that, Sorry, I took out three without taking a single bump. If I take a bump, I might kill everybody. Us included. 
Just not gonna Look, let that one go, are you? I'm never gonna let that go. Never are you fucking kidding me? I wanna die. I wanna be an old man, and somebody's gonna be moving me to a fucking bed or something. And I'm just gonna say, can I ever tell you about the time I uh, I fought off three men when I was surrounded by four? Hey guys, whatever happens here, try to stick together as much as possible. All of you, all right, all of us. Keep the enemy in front of you at all times. I know it's an open space. If things go down here, it's probably going to be quick. Let's try to avoid friendly fire. Yeah, don't get too close to people. And yeah. uh, if you have to, think friendly. I wouldn't recommend that at all. Um... Just keep keep good spacing, but know know where everybody's at. Keep keep an eye on your you know on your left and your right and might be better to fall back a little bit to kind of uh get your senses. We're meeting them uh here, right? This motherfucker's coming, bro. Falling back to this hill is okay. I see a rider. Coming, they're coming. Unless there's the direction, oh, uh, west, northwest kind of area, straight west. What's that? Uh, the farm. I count like ten. What? I think I'm seeing things. I what yeah, I'm seeing fuck? things. I'm seeing things as well, but uh, that's just you know, type of fabric people wear. Anyway, there's like nine. Bunch of naked people? Maybe they're going to Alfonso Bonucci's dungeon? Nah, that's just a... <laughs> that's just a fabric, man. It literally looks like they're all wearing leather masks with no shirt. That's... yeah, that's... uh, must be two groups. Count nine. I'm blind? Yeah, it's nine or ten. I'm not sure which. Why are they all so fucking naked? Why are they naked? Question is, they wearing any sort of uh, underwear while sitting on that fucking horse's back? Oh. Or they balls free? I don't know how to feel about what I'm looking at. I, for one, am very intrigued. Uh, of course you would be. Yeah, of course you are. Yeah. Hey, don't you fucking talk to her like that. Yeah, don't talk to me like that. We... <laughs> Alright, let's just forget everything that happened yesterday in the mines. Sure. What? <laughs> we had no orgy, Sergio. We had no orgy. Oh! I wasn't invited? So oh, fuck. You were busy. Ugh. You know, there's only room for one more, and I didn't want to invite Effie, too. So I lead maybe. a different life now. It's alright. Damn it. That's them. It's 100% them. Come on. Over here, on me. Should we approach? <laughs> Damn, you want a biscuit? Yeah, sure. I'll take one. Why are they naked? Focus. Everybody on me, come on. Remember your spots, all that. Y'all want 
wanting to meet in the saloon, or how, how you want to do this? Up to you. You wanted a spot, right? I mean, we can be out here if y'all want. We ain't intending on having our guns out unless uh, y'all do. So, I mean, I don't, I don't see no reason for it here. But, uh, if everybody feel comfortable. We're just waiting for, for Tommy and Miss Adelaide. I think we are. Uh, we all here. Yeah. All right. All right. I think that's fair. We can put our guns away. I have in here. Nice yeah. conversation, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Sure thing. Yeah. You could probably bring it inside and not talk here next to the dead. Um, yeah, I was gonna say we could take this to the saloon if y'all want, or, or I mean, just move on over to the creek, whatever y'all. Neutral, neutral terms here, huh? Yeah, that's the idea. Hmm. Eat this well, month and get spacing. Yeah, I mean, ain't nothing, nothing like some whiskey to get a conversation going, huh? Get y'all in there. Come on in. The choppers is join Discord and DM me, brother. Hey, watch out for that fellow with the shotgun. We're going into close quarters here. Olivia, you got the shotgun on him, all right? I got one too. You want me to switch up? No, no, no. Rifle it out. Hey, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, they only got the cheap whiskey down here. Here, I'll get y'all uh, here. I'm going to get five of them. Mine them out. Y'all welcome to have huh? Here you go. Here one. There you go. Feel free to have some whiskey, y'all. There y'all go. Right. Yeah, Frank, get one of y'all. I'm going to sit it down. Y'all feel free to bar open here. There's some right. whiskeys. Right. There y'all go. Look at that. All right. Everybody with their backs against the walls. Look at this. Looking real pretty, huh? Certainly. All right. So, I mean... I guess we got a lot to cover, huh? A lot of been a bit of busy like week, yeah. Y'all been busy, we know that. It's been pretty fucking busy, yeah. I um, I have to say so, yeah. I mean, so um, appreciate we... you guys coming yeah. in to talk. All right. Likewise, you know, I know it's a bit uh, things been a bit heated and stuff, but. The I honor think... and the respect we've treated with y'all every time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> don't I remember when it. we came knocking on your door when you had that problem with uh, one of them hostages we took? Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two snakes. Yeah, Nothing that's but respect, right. right? Nothing but respect around here. I think um, it's been a mm -hmm. mutual thing for uh, quite some time now. So, All right. um. I mean, maybe we start out with, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, because we, the biggest problem we seem to be having with y'all is that there are a lot of y'all lately, and it seemed like um, you talk with one person about one thing, and by the time it end up to the 10th person, it, it get all messed up. So I, I feel like by now you probably should, you probably heard some pretty bad things about us. I'd like to hear what, what, what your understanding of uh, how things went last week is, and I'll let you know what we, we think about that. Sure. So look, each side's got their own story, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody's got one story to tell. Mm -hmm. Maybe in our eyes it was a little bit different, right, Frank? Right? Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe, maybe you saw something that maybe we didn't see. Maybe we saw something that you didn't see, right? So stories, stories don't matter, as far yeah. as I'm concerned. Let's 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 cut that They're out. They're great over here. I'm gonna say something. I can say what I heard. I'll tell you right here. You're mm -hmm. in it, right? By the way. I'm in. It, yeah. All right. Good. Says out of the gentleman. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. I'll, I can tell you a story right here, right now. But I can guarantee you, one of you is gonna tell me that I'm wrong, right? And at the end mm -hmm. of the day, we're just gonna fucking bust balls around here, arguing right. over who's right and who's wrong. So let's go with the facts. Let's let's let's, right. let's go with that if that's okay. Sound good. Let's go with the facts. Facts, with the facts is always good. 
Thanks What's that? Thanks. Mm -hmm. Is the following. Mr. Frank over here. Got hit over the head over an incident that happened in an alleyway in Chandani. Mm -hmm. Thanks or lie? Yeah. Thanks. All right. Thanks. Thanks. I had nothing to do hey. with y'all. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Fair enough. No problem. One of my guys came over. Something happened. A little bit of a discussion happened. Knocked over Frankie over the head over here. Boom. Kind of maybe uh, triggered this whole thing. Facts or am I wrong? Facts. Facts. That right. sounds good. Next thing that happens, two of mine are hurt. I, or at least one of them is hurt. Knocked over the head uh, five Facts. times. Facts. Four or five times from what I'm from my understanding. Uh, Mr. Fantoni, is that right? He's got a metal bucket on his head now. Thanks. Yeah. His sister was made watch it all, right? Mm hmm. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Next thing that happens, Mr. Toscano, one of my guys, I believe, not sure how he uh, apprehended. And the Thunder Road. Telegram station. In Valentine. Yep. Valentine Gunpoint. Apprehended. Gunpoint. And mm. then he took down two Mozies. Facts? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hit me Facts. over the head with his fucking gun and then stuck a knife in me while I was on the ground. Then walked up to Frank and opened fire on his ass. No words even spoken. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Facts. That's how it happened. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The words were Facts. spoken, but I was uh, a <laughs> mid-sense when he shot me in. Yeah, so uh, from from right where we're standing, if we're talking facts, so far one of our guys roughed up somebody in your town. This is music. We roughed him up for it. We roughed up one of yours for roughing us up, and then one of your men came into our town by himself, tried to tried to take one of us out, and ended up shooting about three or four of us in our own home and escalated to bloodshed at our doorstep. That sounds like facts from now, because that's what it sounded like to us. Sounds well, we was coming like it's been bloody on both ends. I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Everybody well, I mean, disagree. roughing a man up and, and shoving a knife in a man back while he's on the ground bleeding after you, after you hit him over the head with a gun and then opening fire on two more people is a whole lot different than, than roughing a man up. And... With my fucking hands up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a different yeah. thing. Well, I can't playing the same songs. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, he a tough guy. Mm -hmm. but also, also, hold up. Yeah. Also, caving a guy's head in to where he's got to wear a fucking bucket on his head. Yeah. Is a little bit different than getting smacked once across the face with a hammer. Well, you can ask Frank about that. Your boss is the one who went after him with a fucking hammer. Right. <laughs> all I'm saying is the facts, all right? Opinions, mm -hmm. that's a different thing. Point mm -hmm. is, Frank got smacked over once. Fantoni got smacked over more than more than five or four times or whatever. Almost losing an eye. Mm -hmm. Severe injuries. I'm seeing Frank over here. Frank's looking pretty fucking, you know, pretty good. Standard, yeah? Yeah, he put a few bullet holes. Bullet holes, fair enough. I understand that. No problem. That was after the fact that, you know, yeah. hammering happened, right? So let's talk yeah. about the hammering part, right? Severity of injuries and all that. This is why things escalated a little bit, right? This is why hmm. an extra step was taken for the severity of the... Uh, the now, that's the question that we was, what we was trying to figure out. Because this whole time we've been having trouble with some of y'all, right? We realized, you know, it ain't all y'all. But just like we recognized when Speedy fucked up, and rob that lady uh that come back on all of us we, we did our best to make that right you know you got a lot of people but you got you got one or two men going around causing problems and shouting y'all name out to excuse it you know that that just bringing problems y'all's way i mean it started with something simple. I, didn't, I didn't really do much i right, just want to point that out all right relax mm -hmm. i'm talking about frank man declarations of war yeah he said the word war saying. he did say that he, he not only it. did he he come to our town drew a gun gun on tommy Knock him over the head, stab him when he down, and then say the words war and shit. I mean, this is one man coming in here, but I mean, y'all got to understand how he speak for all of you. That's some, that's a big word. Why would he say right. that? And, and we was wondering word. this whole time, does he got the, does he got the authority to say that? Is he, you know, is he a Dincenzo? Is he like a little Dincenzo? We didn't know at the time. So we've been trying our best to reach out to y'all as much as coming down on, on a Saturday, I believe it was, just to have a drink at the bar. We always have a drink down there. Right there on the edge of town, we were just having a drink, and y'all men came in, guns drawn, shot into the building, and made it a whole thing. And a lot of people got hurt. A lot of your people got hurt. We was just having a drink. People from the cut got hurt. Or, yeah. uh, Sam's Club. A lot of people got involved in that got hurt. 
we was all right though but i mean what was that about i mean well, that was a chance for y'all to come have a conversation with us about it and before that it was all oliver did this oliver uh smack frank oliver come and, and attack tommy oliver declare war we keep hearing about oliver but i'm wondering if this is coming from y'all but the, exactly. the moment y'all where's the same respect we gave you when we right. came knocking on your door trying to square things you told us to get our shit in order we did that's all I'm saying. Now, the problem is, it come for all of us, we can figure that out. That's why we have a talk. But when your whole, you know, family come rolling up and start shooting in the building we're in with, with hardly a word said, I mean, that's starting to sound like it's more than all of us feeling that way, right? Come on now. That's how y'all feel. Nah, hold up. Hold up. There's, there's, a, there's a difference here, okay? Mm. Family currently is operating in a different manner. Mm. Now, wait, wait, where did this happen again? Shooting in the, in the building and whatnot? Where was this? Saturday. Pearly Place, the tavern of San Denis. Yeah. We went into town, just from the edge of town, from the tracks up north, coming from Van Horn, had ourselves a drink. We was in there drinking whiskey. The building got surrounded by your people, guns drawn, yelling, and as soon as we poke our head out, they start firing in the windows and doors. And a lot of your people got hurt. And you ain't hear about that? Mm. At, yeah, mm. I did. All right, well, that, that right there is where we're at right now is, you know, Y'all rough one ours up, we rough one up back, you know, a little bit harder just to say, don't be messing with us like that. You know, you got a problem with us, come talk to us. But then y'all escalated to stabbing a man in the back while he bleeding and declaring war. And then your whole family riding up, guns drawn, shooting without asking any question. I mean, there are a whole lot of, a whole lot of uh, uh, shit coming from y'all's way. And so far, we just been dealing with it. Wait, so you guys are the victims in that case, yeah? So I'll say so. This. We just having a drink in our favorite bar. We always drink down there, huh? Mm -hmm. They rode up hard with their guns out. Put them up, is what he said. Put them up. What right. the fuck are you doing? Put here? them up and then shot. That's right. 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 Oh, that's right. You were there too, huh, sweetheart? She was there. Yeah. Sadly, I almost mm -hmm. got hurt. Good, good. Okay. All right. It's clear to me here that, well, some of us fell victim as well, in my opinion. All right. But we're not here to share opinions, right? We're here to share the facts. Yeah. Let's uh let's cut to the chase here. All right, gentlemen, ladies. Your people have been hurt. Our people have been hurt. Say old country, bro. Right. In that shootout, a couple of yous went down. Good, you guys you guys took all of us down, all of our guys down. I wouldn't have to say that the whole family's involved in this. No. That's uh that's that's a misconception. That's not the way we're working right now. All right. right. Things would be a little bit different in that sense, right? Right now you have an issue with uh um how would you say a uh a, a sub faction in all the family, of them, huh? which is why that's right, which is why I'm stepping in over here to put a fucking end to all of this, right? right? It's not ideal, it's not good for you, it's not good for me. I don't think any of us benefit from you know not being able to reap the business of the city itself. You guys like uh, gambling and all that shit, right? I know you guys, I've seen you guys around town, mm -hmm. you guys are frequent, you guys frequent Saint Denis every now and then, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're down there all the time there. having a good time. Frank lived down there. We bring business. We, we, we're working together so far pretty good until all of us step in. I love this song. Right. I understand. So good. I understand. Why well, are we bringing up poker, huh? Oh, it's a soft spot. I'm sorry, Speedy. Not for me. I fucking hate poker. He quit playing. He can't win no games. Wait, that's not a local? <laughs> you and I both. Now look. We talked to the owner of the Bastille. They're fine with us being there. Uh, I think we all right for the most part. The problem is we just worried every time we go into San Diego, we're going to get uh, the same friendly treatment we got last time we was having drinks. We I didn't understand. come in there with nothing. We didn't, you know, we ain't. At that point, we ain't even attacked nobody like that. It was us that was attacked. And we was willing right. to put it behind us and just keep on going business as usual. And then we got rolled up on now. So you're saying that Oliver and his group, y'all ain't with them. They don't, uh, they don't, y'all, y'all ain't, uh. They don't, don't declare right war for you. All of them. Which one? All of them. Indeed. Red coat right there. So I mean, oh, are y'all officially splitting up? Then why? Why ain't he talking here? What's going that's on? That's not the case. All Take right. What easy. is the case? Right. We are indeed part of the same family, mm -hmm. but there's a certain independence going around in some of our, some of our crews. Come right. on, you got to rule. Right. And that can be they in the business. Decisions. But who answer for the mistakes of these crews? You know, these crews recruiting. You got these young men in here trying to trying to prove themselves. They go around, uh, I don't know, disrespecting people, and they, they, ain't, they ain't really size up, and then what happened? This type of stuff. And it's been happening a lot. From what we hear, y'all got, I'm going to be honest with you, we've gotten at least 
probably uh, three different people approach us in the past week or so saying, hey, you know, we uh, we got problems with them too. We got we got a, everybody just wanting to gang up on y'all at once. I don't know how you pissed off so many people at once, but right now we're just looking to make shit, I don't know, not back to normal, but we're looking to make a square. And from where we stand, if you're like, y'all kind of did us wrong, you know, two times there. All of us of stepping people. up with the guns and then and then coming at us like well, we ain't we ain't do all that. We just all we did was defend ourselves both times. Yeah, even today you rolled up with your long arm shout. That's all right. I understand. Uh, I understand that, but but still, you know, mm -hmm. it's more. It was roughing uh, roughing a man up, teaching a lesson about respect, teaching a lesson about respect. I get it. People was hurt and stuff. I, I understand that, but a man came into our town and tried to kill one of us and shot it at multiple of us, and then we. We just doing business as usual, and y'all ride up. Y'all, y'all attack us twice. It, it, an ambush is what it is. Mm -hmm. It's bullshit. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, it ain't right. All right. It ain't. Listen. Again, back to the whole opinions thing. Mm -hmm. We have our opinions of the matter. You picked off some of ours in the city, at the pawn shop. We picked off some of yours. These are all facts, gentlemen. You disagree? Right. You disagree with him coming to town? Isn't fuck? You think that's different? You don't think that's a different thing? It's not I an opinion. Teach and respect, and and, and and trying to kill some people. That's different. That's a whole different thing. Sometimes you got to beat a dog. Respect. I understand that. Okay. Things escalated, and they shouldn't have, which is why we're fucking here. All right. All right. This is the whole right. purpose of this shit. Right. They escalated, yeah. and they shouldn't have. All right. So well, how we know it ain't gonna escalate again? Number one. And then number right. two, what do we got to do where both sides of us feel okay walking away from this being neutral? No problem between us. From from out, The moment we walk out this room, we could solve this. But the problem is, I don't know. They're, they're, how are we going to make everybody happy here? Well, it looked like all of us shaking his head over there. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be honest. I want to hear more from you because where's that coming from? If anything, I ain't even really concerned with everybody else in this room. More like, I feel like at the end of this, it started with Frank and Oliver. I think maybe they can settle it. Alpha maybe maybe we'll them, Absolutely uh, not. Why not? I'm here to talk. last time we saw him. Yeah, time this is fucking music! Directly, I'm the one solving this issue here. Oliver ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> he had a lot to say the other day. That's all right. All right. We gonna fix this or not? How do we fix it, though? That's what I'm asking you here right now. We can walk away, say, hey, you know what? Bygones be bygones. Use gun some of our, us down. We's gun some of yous down. Hmm. I just don't, I don't know. And what's you gonna do with your city now, huh? Yeah. That's gonna keep business, deputizing right? it? Yeah, I know. It's a lot of people's Please. business. Oh, that's a big yeah. word, deputizing. It is. And they, a they, lot I mean, of groups are talking about it. They're talking about rules and the, laws. Uh, they're talking about doing patrols. They, they're acting a lot like law down there. So some of are them. we here to meet about how we're handling our business in the city, or are we here to meet about how this conflict is escalated unnecessarily? You tell me. Both. Do, do conversations go two well, ways? I'm, yeah. not here, I'm not here to talk about no um, uh, deputizing or whatever you're calling it. I'm here well, to talk about this the conflict problem, that we're having here before. That's where it started, though. Is, is Hear me out, though. That's where it started, right? Is one of you, A couple of your men approach people. They ain't got business approaching preaching about laws and stuff and respect and following these rules that ain't no one was told about, you know, that that's part of, that's where this all started at. The problem is, is if we walk away and say, yeah, we, we, we just going, everybody going to let bygone be bygone, walk away from this. How we know the same shit ain't going to happen tomorrow. Start it all over again. That's what I'm saying. I'm hearing you out. I am hearing you out. All right. Okay. I have a, I've spoken to Klaus as well. I've heard Klaus also, you know, he's, he's, he's got, uh, he's got a good mindset. Yeah, mm -hmm. had a meeting with him uh, yesterday. Yeah. He's brought these concerns as well. All right, this is not something I want to discuss here. But we are looking to hear out the organizations within the, the city and uh, make it uh, less uh, suffocating in that sense as much as possible, mm -hmm. right? Maybe crack down on the things that are uh, major in that sense, right? Blowing up fucking businesses, for example, is something we would uh, not be too happy about. Things like the situation with Frank the other day, I, I don't know, we could probably oversee those, right? That's uh, nothing that, uh, I mean, that's, that's Frank's business with whoever was uh, mm -hmm. apparently sniffing his asshole. So, mm -hmm. things are changing. We're changing, all right? Right. And we're hearing news out. And what are you gonna do about the militant groups that are planning on running through your streets? What are you talking about? Are you talking about? You know who I'm talking about. There's a lot of them. Heard you had a dealing with one of them today, huh? Does anybody know what he's talking about? I don't know what Apparently, I think you does. know what I'm talking about. 
I didn't Seven in the world. Well, all right, that's no, fine. No, not know, if we're only talking about one thing, let's talk about one we're thing. We're just trying to solve the problem that we. I, I want to be able to walk in Santa Ana without having to worry about a group of armed men and women rolling up trying to shoot me for just being in the city that I'm allowed to be in. That the main question. I mean, are we all we not allowed to be in the city? Come on, we gonna have problems. All right, let's let's settle this then right now. Then all right, we walk back into the city, cause no problems. Let's keep the respectful uh, approach that we've always had. If you have any issues with us. You can bring it directly to myself or my brother. You had telegram communications with him already directly. That That's good. about it. Our boys also need to be aware of whose yous are and, and how many exactly. of, you, of yous are out in the city, right? Um, I mean, as long as one of your, your, your lower ranked men, you know, recognize, hey, if there, if there a problem come up with us, you know, take it to y'all. We can, we, you know, there ain't, there ain't shit we can't solve. We ain't got to be shooting people back and forth. It ain't good for neither of us. Ain't nobody want to waste that. the damn bullets or the bodies on this shit. So, and yeah, I that's what we agree with you. 100% agree with you. This, this, this issue should have been brought in the first place for us to have a sit down like we're having it here. Yeah, I agree with all right. you. Shouldn't have, yet, shouldn't have escalated, right? And so, all of us, the one that escalated it, so I think the way we yeah, saw this real quick is just a friendly shake of hands. Back. Oliver and Frank right. get themselves out back, just like men, just fist, and just, you know, we all just place a little bets on it. Come on now. All right. We could, we could put that up for, for Ollie if he wants to do it. I'm not what gonna take that away from him. Well, However, is Tommy. that is Come that the now. only thing that's gonna be? Oh, you want to hold my knife? Be nice. I mean, oh, I'd like it, to use it. It feel a lot better than just walking away feeling empty-handed here. At least, at least Frank get a chance. That's all he want, right, Frank? That good on you? Mm -hmm. Hey, Mr. The Bar, close. Just for like a little bit, bud. Is Boone here? Nope. Uh, no, no, Boone ain't here. Take a hike. Okay. Ain't worth it, Mister. That's up to y'all, right. but I'd like to see it myself. If a fist Do fight is going to solve everything, I'd happily do it. I don't think it's about a fist, right, Tommy? It's really about a fist. It's about a stab his back. That's a big thing. I would you too. I mean, if Frank kick, your ass, kick his ass, he like kicking his ass for both of you. I don't know. Yes, whatever. Uh, I just don't want to see none of our people get hurt. Exactly. Over something I, stupid as this. We'd be willing to walk away, but just, you know, just to, just, you know, like a coin flip here at the end, just to kind of, I don't know, get some tension out. It'd be good to see these men go out of here. <laughs> There's one more thing I want to bring up, if What's this that? is all it's going to take. Right. There's somebody that's looking to fuck us all over around here. Someone that's putting fire to a. Uh, hmm. You're talking about fuel kettle, to fire. The imposters. Uh, no, uh, the imposters. That. That's fucking right. Who was it? Somebody. Someone's pretending to be me. Oh Someone's yeah. Someone's pretending to be one mm -hmm. of your guys. Well, yeah, we've right. been hearing about this, and I we ain't we ain't quite figured out who the hell been doing any of it. But someone someone got a damn vested interest in y'all. I was thinking honestly, like you were saying, all of over here maybe trying to start his own little side thing, and, and, and I was thinking who would benefit from us fighting and you fighting more and stirring that pot. And I was thinking one of these Dincenzos trying to make a move, but. We ain't figured shit out about that. I'll tell you something. If that's the case, I'll deal with it in house. All right. But it ain't the case as far as I'm aware. So, y'all ever caught these that. people? It's not only the fact that someone's been impersonating Frank or Amadem already. Who here? I mean, I'm sure you guys have. I mean, Mama, right? That you've uh, you've been closely tied before, Mama Christine. That's my mama. mama. Yeah. yeah, that's your mama, right? Apparently she blew uh, or she was throwing some fireworks our way into the house. You know anything about that? Sounds mm -hmm. like hard shit to me. She yeah. old woman, you know. Sometimes she go missing for a couple of days. She end up coming back. She ain't do nothing she? like that. She ain't she's, doing now. Yeah, she's a uh, she's a bit of a wildfire. Mm -hmm. She's an she, she ain't got nothing to do with y'all, and mm -hmm. I can say that was definitely not her. Yeah. I'd say we can't Mr. trust Snake, no Snakes. rumors until we figure out who's doing all this uh, impersonating shit. It could be anything we hear could be these people messing with shit, trying to get us all riled up. She ain't got nothing to, do to my this. point here. Yeah. She means a lot to you there, Mr. Two Snakes, huh? What's that, what's that got yeah, to do with that mean? All I'm asking, just answer the question. Yeah, she does. And she didn't do anything of the sort. I can guarantee you that. She's got no goddamn reason for it. You ain't got no claim in any of this. I'll tell you something. I believe you. Because one of our guys went down there to talk to her. Just to ask. She so said I heard. She wasn't involved. 
So it seems like not only they're impersonating Frank, not only they're impersonating one of ours, but they're also trying to fuck with your family and your people beyond this group right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone is trying to fuck us both over. And they ain't. They ain't showing themselves. Yeah, but they benefiting from it. But they benefit from it. It ain't, right. it ain't Klaus to his people because they, they, his business is hurting because he can't even get foot traffic in there. I mean, yeah. I've been questioned by a lot twice about this now. Yeah, he has. So have they caught him at all? It? Law caught him at all? Kill him. And it I mean, ain't any of y'all. You sure about that? With how many people you got? Yeah. Ain't none of us. Why would we blow up our fucking manor? I don't know why would you attack a group of people who always had good respect for y'all in a neighboring town and. Declare war. I don't know. Shit happened. Yes. A little bit different. Yeah. All right. Ain't none of us. All right. But I tell you something. I think we should all uh, find whoever it is and take care of them. If, if either side of us catch these people doing this shit, we try to get a hold of the other side and make sure everybody, uh, you know, in on it. Find out who the hell these people is and what they want, huh? Y'all find them. Let us know. We find them. We let you know, huh? We keep you want us patrolling your city to find the people in your city? No, it ain't like that. No. Man, because it's only been happening in St. Denis, am I wrong? Has it, though? I think so. The Frank ones have been in St. Denis, yeah. I don't about know the about ones. the Amadeo ones, but... Who, who's been a victim of the Amadeo scandal, huh? I'm uninformed. Yeah, Scott, you know more about this? Anything uh, Amadeo-related, the impersonation there, not in St. Denis. Yeah, oh, we're Valentine. 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 Oh, we haven't heard a thing about it. What happened? Oh. So we got people impersonating y'all and Valentine and us in San Diego. That's kind of weird. Well, can Fucking I get can I get the victim? Come on, who did it? What happened? Emily, Emily, I think her name was Emily Kimward, and uh, Clementine got beaten by someone claiming to be me. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the victims of the fake Amadeo. Do we have any information mm -hmm. on that? I don't think there was a victim. I think it was just. Um disrespect on the streets or something like that scott but you know anything more <laughs> no it was straight robbery straight robbery, robbery saying my name's amadel moretti and i'm robbing you wow that well, could All be right. completely unrelated to us honestly but i mean it, sure it, it wouldn't it would be if there wasn't some man dressing up as frank doing the same shit down there though that's what make it weird right? I, mean, I pretended to be people and robbing people but hmm. uh. you do that a lot no i'm saying back in the day it's not like you know wasn't trying to really hurt the other <laughs> person <laughs> right. 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 I'm I mean, just saying, this seems like a safe and even. This, if we to, to put it down to this, I know y'all is a long way from home. It's raining and shit. Y'all probably don't want to be here any longer than you have to. I mean, I still like to see this little fight happen here, but uh, if we can, if we can, if we can put a stop to this shit, you know, I'll be, I'll be all right with that. If everybody else is all right with that. I mean, I don't think that it's really going to make it even. The whole stabbing time thing. Even. It I mean, if we want to do this, I think we got to have the same shot. Right? They did him worse than they did me. Yeah, what, 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 is a fish, fish going to happen? Really? That's hey, what well, that's why, be? that's why they both go get a chance to get at each other real quick. Ain't the goddamn pig that pen of Valentine. Well, it don't, ain't this ain't no pig pen. no fucking pig pen like an animal. There ain't no law here, Speedy. This ain't no pig pen. Two men solving a problem. But we're putting this all behind this. No need for more bloodshed on either side. We can do it in Come here. Come on, shit shoot! All let, them, let them have fun, huh? Why not? Look at it over with. Y'all gotta take off your uh, weapons yeah, and stuff, though, huh? Make it right, huh? Sounds uh -huh. like everybody agrees to that. All right, yes, all right. No, they don't. All right, look at that. Guys, I have to Sounds go, like, man. Uh, Speedy ain't on board with all this. Speedy wasn't here for half of it in the first place. Hold this, all right? I, I guess it's not his it. problem, huh? Hold this. You gonna miss the fight? Is he something we're gonna have to worry about? No. Good all speedy know. is like y'all, Oliver. You know, it's like that. Really? You know? That is that is Come the on. rudest thing you've ever said to me. Is everybody in position? All right. Oh shit! All right, Frank. I don't. Yeah, I don't, don't want to accidentally be throwing punches at anybody. On. We might need yeah. to like get up on this table or yeah, something. Do, are you? Are you sure we want to do it in here? It's kind of. We cramped. can do it outside do it. in the rain. Is there? I mean, there are cow. Yeah. There are cow. Uh, hey, there's 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 a there's a barn right across the street, and I think there are a lot of room inside. We can go in there. Where the wagon? The wagon barn. Sure. Jesus Christ! All right, sure. All right. I just All don't right. want to punch my friends in the face. There you go. 
We're doing no Why do you always home. make plans before you get on Red Dead? Backwoods, you are a year sub asking a question that is so stupid. My penis is now two inches shorter than before, so now it's one inch. So we're all in agreement no matter who wins, who loses, we're dropping yeah. it. This is this mm -hmm. just about... Uh, Good. you know, it started with y'all, it ended with y'all kind of thing. Why are you a human being having plans to take care of your life when you should just stream 12 hours a day, man? Like, suck my balls, bitch. You're a year sub, man. What the fuck's wrong with you? All right. I think we got a good amount of room inside the barn here. Let me see. I can hope so. It's either that or out here. Up to y'all. What do y'all think? That, that big enough? We out here, you in there? We breathe and angle. But y'all want to do it out here? Fuck. I mean, might as well get in the mud. It's going to get muddy anyways. Yeah. yeah. All right, fuck it. All right, everybody, we get up here by the by the building. Give them room. Y'all want to do bets? I got, I got 300 on Frank. It's I do Frank, not want to stand in between all these motherfuckers, bro. Frank. I'm going to get my class I'm ass clad. All right. Oh, still out here. Oh, easy now. Huh. Jesus Christ. Is this, is the guy this was just asking questions. Jeez, yeah, stupid one. Don't ask stupid an questions if you don't want stupid answers or responses, man. You need to put that ball back. I'm all right. I'm going to get over here, but okay. Damn. Chop for the bulls. You got the Frank. Yep. All right. Okay, we're just starting, huh? That's right. Come on, Ali. Beat his ass, Ollie. Beat his ass. Beat his ass. No. Put your hands up. Come on. Back on his motherfucker, bro. Oh, let's, let's go, go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let that settle. Now, I'm gonna say uh, spread out a little bit. Take it easy, Scapo. Man's only uh, speaking words, trying to get. Oh, the, the bullet! They go pay him dirty money. I'll look now. Oh, come on, Frank. Uh, all right. Oh, that's the way to handle it. All right. You did good, Frank. You did good. That's all good right. Good fight, Frank. Good fight. Good, good talk, y'all. Hold up. No more I, issues. I I out of anything. Shouldn't be nothing. So far, we've just been reacting to what's coming our way. We're going to keep it like that, but we ain't trying to start nothing. Not from all here. Right. Fair enough. You're coming back into the city and all that. You do whatever, whatever you need to do. All right. Let's keep it respectful. Let's keep it as we have as we have had it in the past. No problems from us. You do hey, your thing. Same for Valentine, all right? Same for Valentine. Right. Take it easy. Appreciate you. Take right. care. Brush your hair. You ain't got no hair. Well, the mustache Bye -bye coming back now, right? see you soon. You almost got your mustache back. Hey, sweetheart, you still interested in that course? Uh, just give me one of them right now. Hold on. N no, my sweet Tommy's teaching me everything I need to know. Just one for now, because I only hey, have so much pocket. Yeah, yeah, his too. What? Yeah, it really uh, just ended over that? So Whoa. Show for your I made a bet. Oh, all right. Thank you. No problem, Mr. Uh, what, Snakes. If you ever wish I had the opportunity course, to, just uh, let me know. I wish I had the opportunity to shake Frank's hand, but... But I guess, like, at the end of the day, right? Like, uh, you have to end it at some point. I don't really know how long this has been going on. I haven't been around, so. What a head he I think he brought I think him that back would be fantastic. You boys got a bag on you? That's a cow. that'll put everything to rest in. It's a bull. Yeah, I assume they must. Yeah, okay. No. Now you can hand me my pistol. Okay, cool. I have, my pockets are so filled with bullshit. I know you want to run your up front and go here. All right. Swear this Wait, shit. What's that? It's the Wait. Tupo Pedro de la Familia, Scofield. Where the head he okay. taking? I don't know. 
Oh, duh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Are they looking? Yeah. What? My fucking jaw! Jesus Christ! Ow! They, they ain't looking. They ain't looking. Alright. Alright, they, they ain't looking. Don't worry about it. You good. I was looking, but it's fine. Oh. You saw nothing. Wait, wait you, you saw nothing. You can see past that. Don't, don't believe him. You didn't see anything. I love you know, Mr. Moon's character. He looks so bag. creepy, dude. Uh, oh shit, no, I don't. Fuck. I enjoy. When's the next poker game, Mr. Two Snakes? It's a good question. Friday, right? It's every Friday, ain't it? All right. It's good that we solved this so you can enjoy your game, huh? Well, we could have enjoyed it really anyway. We decided, to be honest with you, but it would be nice to be able to go down to St. Denis without having to look over our shoulder every damn second. That's right. That's right. And that's how it's going to be now. So Watch out for good. that bull. That's how it's going to be. That's how it's going to be. Let's not escalate this further, yeah? My gray. Don't tell him about to bend the knee, bro. Shouldn't have gotten as far as it did, really. Agreed. Agreed. Sometimes you just got to tighten that leash a bit on some of your boys. I could say the same. Great. Let them know who's in charge, you know? Yeah. I could say the same about yours, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Have a great fight. Great fight yeah, indeed. Was. Good fight, all the way, Yep, though. Glad we could put this behind us. Look, Jesus. Boys. That fucking grip. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. All right. Un until next time. All right, y'all. <sighs> if you ever need cleaning services, let me know. Ooh. Don't shake my hand, too, Mr. Oliver, or what? I don't see why not. Oh, we All right. Look at that extension. Yeah, with two peas in a pod. <laughs> yeah. See you around. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> Did she just go? No one went that dead from all this. <laughs> she all look on the bright Did side. Did he have the right? <laughs> Very bright side. Okay, okay. Right okay. So. Right, just make it show you. Bye. All right. Uh, Y'all take care. Bye. Bye, Frank. Hello, cow. Oh! Goodbye, cow. Take it easy. Come on, let's go. Want to win a Reagan back? Wait, no, nope, no, nope, that's not. Want to went, want to went the Reagan? I, I would bad. love, I would love to went the Reagan, Reagan actually. Is with us and all of us? He doesn't really have much, right? He's just kind of, he's been away. He's got no idea what the fuck's going on. He's just being, he's just doing what he's told. Cesar. My name is Oliver. Oh my god. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I will rest here. Okay. Take it easy, Will. Yes. I'm... Are you shocked it went that way? No, I knew I was going to beat his ass. I'm not talking about the fight. Oh, the... Uh, yeah, I am. I fully expected a gunfight. Almost seems that is what they wanted. Oh, they definitely were. They were trying to bait me out into saying something. That's yes. why you gotta keep your tongue. I think so too. I've uh, I've changed a lot since you've been doing your own business. I do not believe that. <laughs> <laughs> but well, I will be around more. I am back now. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Yes.
Wow. There's Cesar. It's the it's the coat, man. I'm not used to Ollie wearing that fucking coat. Who's gonna sleep here? Yes, I will rest here. here. All right, yeah, sounds good. Take it easy. Appreciate you being here. See you next time. Yes. Till then. <laughs> Take care. Brush your hair. <laughs> it's locked. Yes, it is. Sorry. All right, chat. Uh, so yeah, guys, remember, I'm gonna go. As I said earlier, uh, this is a good spot right here. We're not even gonna do an outro. Uh, I gotta go put a bunch of shit in fucking storage. Pack some shit up. Uh, this month's gonna get a little weird. Now, uh, you know, the good thing for you guys, chat, is I was actually, I knew there was a heist update coming. Didn't know it was gonna happen on the 19th. So all the shit I was gonna do in like the next week or so, I'm not doing until probably the end of the month now. Because I obviously am going to be here for the update. But uh, that doesn't mean that uh, me and Abby aren't still going to like prep for it and stick with kind of the game plan. It's just the timetable of shit is kind of moved towards the end of the month instead of like soonish. Okay. Um, tomorrow is Thursday. Tomorrow we are going to be live. Uh, it is going to be a rust day tomorrow. Just so you guys know. Um, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much it. It's going to be a rust day tomorrow. Uh, unless the server is somewhat, for some reason, delayed by the time we're live, or it's not, or hasn't wiped yet, then we'll probably just do uh, some role play, uh, GTA until um, the server wipes. But uh, we're putting together a cool custom server, which I think is going to be a lot of fun, and I'm hoping it's going to be uh, more fun than this last wipe because we're tweaking a lot of shit, writing a lot of cool shit uh, to make the server better. Okay, I'm gonna host John. I love John. I miss John. We're going to host John. He's streaming some Red Dead. All right, chat. Until then, boys, girls, thank you for tuning in every single day. Like I said, you know, I've kind of been embracing more, just doing what I want, streaming what I want, and not uh, worrying so much about just streaming GTA all the time, which has been super enjoyable. I feel like we've converted a lot. I feel like this public NoPixel Rust server helped me convert a lot of viewers into Rust too, which is nice. That's pretty much the game plan, chat. Bounce around, bounce around from GTA to Red Dead to Rust to whatever the fuck else we end up doing and the chat actions of uh, watching and enjoying is pretty much the plan, all right? Appreciate you guys, though, for tuning in every single day, no matter what I'm streaming. And uh, thank you for the subs. Make sure to follow the channel, follow YouTube, follow Twitter, all that good shit. And I will see you guys tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific. 11 a.m. Pacific, six days a week. I go live at 11 a.m. I end at around 7, 7.30, 8, skate Andy. Appreciate you guys, chat. Thank you for everything. Till tomorrow. Bye.